And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Just like that, it's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. Big J. Okerson, he's in Canada. But to replace him, the other two members of Legion of Skanks, Louis J. Gomez and Dave Smith. Welcome to the Council! Uh, Louis is dripping in sweat. And I also want, know. hold on, let Louis do the rest of the song acoustic. A- acapella. Do the Legion of Skanks uh, intro acapella. Welcome to the Council! You look like a young Iron Sheik. No, 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 no. So why, why are just your arms sweating? Yeah, Louis has the most forearm sweat. I know I you can't them see. in butter before I got here. Do you just grease up before yeah. you skateboard down? You're skateboarding everywhere. Yeah. Oh, you're goddamn right I am. How many times do you almost get into a fight every trip? You know, I feel like I don't get into fight. You know what it is? Because I there was know, this one time when he almost banged right into the police chief, but then he hooked the corner, and then it cut to his mom and Maggie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of the Simpsons. Oh, you it's know what, not, Dave? Yeah, that's the Simpsons. Oh, what about the time Lewis was skateboarding because he was late, and then that guy had that rope in the back of his truck, <laughs> and then he was going down. Oh, power. You know what? That was Back to the Future. I God just can't. It. If there's one of these will actually be Lewis. All right, go ahead. Yeah, no, I um, you know, because uh, I I, I, I am a former employee of Sirius XM. Yeah, uh, which will get you former UFC uh, champion Michael Bisping. We are formerly co-hosts on the Countdown on so, Rush Ninety Three. Well, it's so weird. Let me say this. No, no, I talk no. To, Okay. I, I've, I've talked to a lot of fighters, okay, and there's something about the confidence that comes with, like, you know, being able to be a real badass, right? Like, yeah. you walk around with your head up high, you don't really need to prove yourself. Yeah. So what happens is, I'm, I'm running around on the skateboard like a total fucking badass. Like a total warrior. Uh, well, on hold top on. Of, like, I, I'm five times as what, fast as everybody. Wait, 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 I mean, we, we gotta stop that real Was quick. that World War One that yeah. they went on skateboards? I don't know what kind of old school, what kind of warrior rides around on a penny board? That's a tiny skateboard. Dan, it's four. You might as well be on roller skates. Skates. And it's four wheels. That's all I need to know. Okay, me, my I'd, warriors I'd fight that entire army. Yeah, you might as well have bedazzled Daisy Dukes on. I was a like, babe. Hold my stuff. I'm gonna yeah. fight this army. I don't know why this guy's on this tard board. I had to beat the shit out of him. Five times as fast as everybody, and then I have a board with uh, wheels and trucks attached to it that has so a pineapple I, with a fedora on it. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a badass. I don't need to that's prove not... myself being a badass. People know that I'm a badass, so I walk around like no. a shark amongst guppies. There's not at all. There's a difference between a badass. and in a fucking asshole, which is what you are when you're like, oh, I almost hit that guy on that tiny skateboard. Why are you being that way? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just critical of the penny board. Yeah. I well, think you should get a real skateboard. No. Now, now I uh, I feel like when people get real skateboards, that's like when people get like, you know, muscle cars or like, you know, fucking Ferraris. No. So you're you're aware that the actual skateboard is douchey. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's not actual. lost on you. That's, that's where he loses it. Yeah. He goes, he goes. If you drop down to a goes, tiny oh no no board. no, Dan, I'm not going to be one of those guys. No self awareness. Oh, <laughs> Walking doggy. around looking like a jack off all day. <laughs> doggy, I'm a warrior. If you're trying to do tricks on a skateboard, you're a fucking skater. You're, you're a, a real, loser. You're a real skater. If I'm trying to just get from point A to point B, I'm savvy. I'm efficient. Uh, so I typically ever, it holds up. Have you ever Short left? Distance. Have you ever left a room with it and jumped on it? Been like, all right, guys. So I guess I'll see you later. And then just ran and jumped on your. Do board? you think Lewis yeah. looks in the mirror and works out like exit liners all day? Like One just, thousand exit. percent. <laughs> One. Oh, he just keeps practicing. He goes, I guess I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Go. Yeah. Good point. Unfortunately, this bird's got to roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bird roll. That's That's stupid. Yeah. Let's Fuck. Stupid. And roll. <laughs> hey, sorry guys, I can't gather any moss because I'm a rolling stone. <laughs> yeah, Lewis, this is Lewis coming down from Harlem. This music. Yeah, goes, I... Move it! I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Fuck you! Seriously, just got in a fight with me! Oh, buses are for fags! <laughs> is he skating in front of it? Have you almost gotten to a fight? Because uh, of your penny board? Because of my penny board? No, uh, because he's Lewis on a penny board. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else would be like, sorry, bro, I was just surfing the waves of concrete. But I'll tell you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running, I'm running late less often now. So that is, that is one of the major causes of conflict for me. I, when I'm running late, I want to hit people. 
and this is the problem is cab drivers are usually right there with me. So that's why they usually deal with the front of it. I'm not in there with them. They're in there with yeah. me. Uh-huh. Liz will get in, in Harlem and he's like, I need to be on 4th Street in 10 minutes. And Transport. Like, Sir, that is impossible. Fuck you. Where are you from? I am from Sudan. Why are you yelling at me? I'm going to reach through this partition and rip your goddamn neck off. I come to this country to seek peace and opportunity. <laughs> Fuck a person opportunity. Um... But going down, I mean, you are, I will attest to the fact that today we met up and you were right on time when yeah. you said you were going to be there and you credit that to the penny board. Oh, 100% doggy. I hate the doggy thing. Why? It's just, it's not going to catch up. I'm on. sorry, Dan, that I'm trying to get the bonfire in touch with the youth of America. <laughs> the youth of America wants nothing to do with yeah, the term do. doggy. Yeah. No, they don't. Um, why, what happened with you and Bisping at Sirius? Um, I know you talked about it on the real ass pod, okay. podcast, you know what? which you we... can find at Gas Digital Studio. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I did talk about it on, on Realist Podcast. Right, long story short, they, um, Bisping missed the show a couple okay. weeks ago, and he misses shows a lot. He's a fucking UFC champion. It is what it is. The middleweight champion he's, of the world. He's literally the only, uh, champion, the only, the only combat sports champion that is currently on the airwaves. I think, well, yeah, but they had you, you're a warrior, technically. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't want to sell this, we're kind of going through a thing with John Fugel saying, and I didn't want to bring this up when Jay was in here, but I heard he's also a pit fighting champion. Really? So, yeah, I think it was Bisping and John Fugel. Let's just say he's won more than he's lost. Yeah, exactly. I think he's like 16 and 13, <laughs> but those are, you know, those are brutal fights. It's impressive, that's better than any of us could do. <laughs> um, so, Bisping and they let- So, so they suspended him indefinitely at first, and then and they were like, well, we're, we don't know when it's going to come back, so we want you to host a show with A.J. Hawk, who's like an NFL yeah, player. Yeah, former NFL linebacker from Ohio. Super cool uh, Green guy. Bay Packers, and he played at Ohio State. Love A.J. Hawk. Fucking uh, ta- talented dude. Really cool guy. Um, but I was like, no, I'm not going to just do a show in my in mine and Bisping's time slot next week and just name it <clears> something else, and we'll see what That's happens your new, with Bisping. You're a Jersey chaser. That's like your new one. You go, hi, Michael. Look who I'm with. A.J. Hawk. <laughs> he played for the Packers. <laughs> he used to tackle running backs. I don't even know that. Well, much. I, I, I know. I, know I just happen to know that, like, the history of of the countdown and and you guys starting was that Bisbing was very specific, like that he wanted to work with you yeah. and he loved doing radio with you. So it seems a little bit weird for them then to when have a problem. Want, and but that's to go, what like, people. That's what people at the top do, and I'm talking about TV and radio and a lot of shit. Where you'll notice where there's like a, a popular duo or something breaks up, and immediately they're like, let's just replace it with this. Like, Ari Shafir's been public about this is not happening, but, like, the, the list that they gave him, you're I'm like... I'm pretty sure that's always been Roy Wood Jr.'s show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't Roy, remember. Roy Did Ari st- do anything with that? Roy steps out of the shadows. He goes, <laughs> Ari, it's finally time for me to take back over. <laughs> also, could they have picked an opposite dude of Ari Shafir, like this tall, gangly, hippie pothead? They're like, ah, oh, let's just get a middle-aged old black guy. I mean, I don't think he's a middle-aged old black dude. Middle-aged black guy. I don't Very even think you comedian. can be middle-aged and old. I don't know. How old is Roy Wood Jr.? I don't know who he is. <laughs> Do you know I've Roy? Never, I've never met the guy. He's a very good guy. What are I these middle-aged was, old young guys? I thought he was the dad from Family Matters. <laughs> oh, you thought he was Carl Winslow? <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Carl Winslow's hosting This Is Not Happening? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would be incredible. He's got great stories. <laughs> I, I, I took a dab's hit with Carl he's Winslow 38. after. He's 38, so he's far from middle-aged. Oh, he's man. younger than Ari. Why am I? Well, you made Ari the young guy and him the old guy yeah why is that you know black don't crack you should have at least that he could have been younger. anywhere from 30 to 80 they're gonna I bring no in idea. steve harvey if that's lewis's aging a black guy he goes i don't know he has to fill out a police report he goes i don't know if it was 30 or 90 one of the over 15s <laughs> strong enough to hurt me that's how he categorizes black people I really think- he goes hey, the, the women are old enough to fuck and the men are old enough to hurt me uh, I, I don't think I know who Roy Wood Jr. is. I really think really I'm, great I'm that, comedian. I am imagining a way older black man. Yeah, than dude. I think you're thinking of William Stevenson. Oh, that's definitely Roy Wood Jr. He does not look 38. He is falling apart. No, he looks 38. Yeah. You look 38, and Thanks. you're not 38. Thanks, doggy. Well, I hate the doggy thing. I just but uh, I sound like I'm 17. <laughs> yeah, because I'm totally tubular, right, doggy? Hey, bro. Hey, hey, isn't that da bomb? Um, uh, old people. Speaking of old people, I read this article that I want to talk to you about. In Sweden, doctors sent by accident set a 97 year old woman on fire. Are we just done talking about Bisping? Oh, I didn't know you were. It was over. All right, fuck. Em. What were you gonna bring up? 
No, it's all right. You didn't get you didn't get any of the story. You just moved on. No, I didn't move you on. You were boring us. <laughs> yeah. We got to move <laughs> faster. This is why you no longer work here. You don't get the policy. You got to keep moving. <laughs> keep those ears on the die. I don't know how it works. So yeah. what happened with Bissing? He missed a couple shows. No, he missed, well, he missed a few shows over like the course of a couple of years, but like that's what he would do. Once once it'll blow, he wouldn't show up. He okay? also is the middleweight champion. You give him a little bit of credit. Yeah. Okay? He, he goes, oh, I can't, I can't do this Thursday because I'm fighting Dan Henderson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on Saturday. He goes, I don't know if you know so this, if you but could maybe... uh, do you guys know Anderson Silva? <laughs> Crazy. I got to fight him. He's known as the greatest of all time. I have to get in the cage with the man. They lock us in there for five rounds. He's, so maybe I miss, you know, an hour. He's, every so, hour. he's, he's so tough. He refuses to learn English. <laughs> he just keeps speaking for, uh, Portuguese, even so, though. You see, so they, then they were like, um, first of all, they were gonna, they were gonna let me go, cause I said I wouldn't come back unless they gave me a raise. And Bisping said, he was like, if you go, I go. So we have this thing where we're just like, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna... So you did the honorable thing. I did the honorable thing. I right? don't need this job. I'll skateboard over to my podcast studio <laughs> and just record on my own time. He goes, hey, why don't you stick your head out your office and watch me skateboard down the hallway? <laughs> Seriously, can you time me? I'm, I'm trying, trying to beat, I'm trying to beat myself. I'm trying to set a carpet record. <laughs> I'm so, faster. I'm not as fast on carpet for some reason. So they ended up having me come in and do the show alone without yeah. Bisping until we figured out what was going on with him. And when the big boss came back for the channel. This uh, is the uh, big boss man. He's a big wrestler. Yeah, the, big uh, boss man. Uh, he's going to spin his baton. Uh, he goes, oh, my he God. From serious. Cobb County, Georgia? <laughs> oh, dude, he, beat, he beat the shit out of me with his baton. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds. Yeah, that's sounds Remember when Nails cool. got out and just fucking just beat the shit out of a cop in the middle Nails of the ring? Nails we escaped were from prison. Yeah. Made it to the WWF arena. Could not find a change of clothes. No. Of of time. Still wearing the orange jumpsuit. You think they could have caught him? By the way, I would recommend if you escape from prison, ditch the orange jumpsuit. It's a surefire way you're to cutting, know you are the escape You're cutting the orange out of your wardrobe altogether. You're Guys, never wearing orange what if again. we come together and do a conspiracy theory wrestling podcast? <laughs> a truther movement where we're like, first off, how is Nails in a sanctioned bout? That means it had to go through legal at someone at WWE. And he's fighting a cop? An so, officer of the law? Oh, I know. Somebody dropped the ball somewhere along the way. <laughs> Can I, I'm just going to go out on a, on a limb and I'm going to ask the question. What was he convicted of? What, is, what did Nails do? Uh, also, did we beat the shit out of a cop and he's at it again. Yeah. Guys, stop him. Uh, just get him in the locker room. That's all you got to do. He's clearly going back there. I watch, you guys know he's, his music's queued up. You guys know he's coming here. You can't act like you don't know this. At a certain point, you start to go like, who's the guy dropping the music? <laughs> I think that guy's in on it. I'm really into convict. <laughs> Um, so Michael Bisbing doesn't show up a couple times. And yeah. Then, so then they were like, oh, we're he's gonna, fighting. So we're going to suspend him indefinitely. So I was like, they were like, come back and do the show with AJ. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing a show with another athlete. So then when this guy got back, the, the guy who runs the, the sports department, he was like, all right, well, we're not bringing Bisping back right now or, or we don't know when. And I was like, well, fuck it. I'm not going to do a show without Bisping. Um, and I mean, look, we had talked about me Did and you? Dave doing a show for a while. Dave's under contract with Rush as well. Yeah. Um, they just, they You're literally bound. are make, they, the only thing, the only option they're going to give me is <laughs> they're going to let me do a show with another athlete or nothing. So I said, fuck it, I'm out. So you just, do you, did you do have like a Jerry Maguire moment? Did you try to pull some people with you? No. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do. <laughs> Actually, I am. I'm kind of freaked out. You know what? <laughs> For me, this isn't really freaking out that. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis is Jerry Maguire's speech. It's just him actually threatening now, to freak out. Who's coming with me? He goes, Come on. He goes, what about you? You said you think this guy's a queer. She goes, Lewis, I never said that. I said that to you in private. <laughs> Dale Pennington? Yeah. You coming with me? Um, so no you're, one? So you no can, one. No. All right. I'm going to skate out of here. You quit yesterday. Today. Today? Today. And that's you're so back weird. in the building. In the I building. had no idea that uh that's what happened. When I heard uh they cut your guy's show, I just thought it was continuing in the process of cutting the fat around here. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave reads it in a newspaper with glasses on and goes, good move. Mm, yes. What else yes. is coming up? Mm. Mm. Um, well, thanks for coming back to your former job. Well, that's it, guys. I, you know, this is probably the last time they let me in the building. So I would... Love if you got escorted out. If someone on oh. Sirius heard this, nothing would make my week. You know what's more. really crazy? It seems like you can say whatever you want to into these microphones, but if I were to tweet the wrong thing, Isn't that crazy? I'd never be allowed in here again. Twitter is really that's the whole thing is like just use Twitter. If you use Twitter to promote a link that is you like saying something horrible, then you're, you're fine. Hard. No, no, no. Wait, you think like, you, you think you're fine if, if the you link don't say it on Twitter? Like if you just go like, here are my thoughts on race. 
Link. And then <laughs> it's there's just, like Link, and you're just like, we should bring back slavery. It's just like, you in a field fine. with a burning cross, but and you're you like, oh, Dave, this is bad. Yeah, but it's like, it's like, as long as it's like another source. But it is, uh, I've noticed that I check Twitter for news now, which is gross. Yeah. I go to like the search thing of like what's happening. I just go right to Trump's feed, and I go, you tell me, you right go, from the mm-hmm. horse's mouth. I'm going to download real. it right onto my brain. By the way, guys, we're crushing it. Yeah, <laughs> he is, uh, all the jobs are back. We're You're walking. Wars. If you just, if that's know. the only way you got your news, you just walk around like. <laughs> <laughs> just, all right, that's it. <laughs> How you guys doing? Guess what? America's great again. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> just living in whatever yeah. Trump's like world is. That'd be awesome. It's terrific. Well, I mean, it's you would be pretty much blinded. You have I blinders like, on. What I like about Trump's tweets is it's like even for people like for 140 characters, if that's too much for you. Like if you're more ADD than that, you just you skip to the last word, and that's something, sad. That's what, yeah. It's always the last word is always like terrible, Hello, sad. To find the mood, and then you're like, okay, what type of tweet is this? So is that the and back? I like to go and then yeah, I memento it, yeah, and then I go back to the beginning, <laughs> and I'm like, what happened here? How did we get sad? It's like when I used to go to the blockbuster and you'd read the back of the movie, uh, and yeah. you go. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to watch this. Strong sexual content. Nudity. I'm <laughs> yeah, in. I'm in. All right. Oh, Let's Trump's Poison Ivy 4 is awesome. <laughs> do you remember that literally being a kid? And this is the, what an age gap from us and like someone who's 25 or 20 today, but that we would see, we would we'd be on the two week free trial of Cinemax. Yep. And we would be up there and, and staying up late to see the thing where it said nudity, strong sexual content. Strong and sexual like, content. Dude, I'm going to get to see a nipple well, for like five seconds. Yeah, but the problem with that is it's a very – here's the thing. This is what happens, okay? Back in the day, it will say nudity, strong sexual content. That was then, what you wanted. And then you're like, yeah, all right. I'll see yeah. that all night. And then you're 50 minutes into the movie and you see the, a dude's butt and it's just a dude's butt and he's like maybe Every raping now a and chick in like the hallway. Lewis. You don't see anything. And you're like, is that it? Is that all I'm going to see? Lewis, you knew and then this, you though. you watch the rest of the fucking movie and nothing. Else happened. Every now and then, one out of five times you're getting dude butted. Yeah. And that's all you're gonna get. That's true. They but, can't all be oysters, dude. But that was the game. And then sometimes you know what would come on They're and you pearls. would be like, it would just say strong sexual content, but no nudity. And you're like, uh. And then sometimes it'd have all of them. When you're you, like, nudity, strong sexual content, graphic content. And you're like, ooh, this is a good one. That was, that was like a uh, five star blue chip athlete where you're like, I'm guaranteeing this is a first round draft pick movie. We're gonna stay up, get your boners out. Full brawn at the McDonald's. It yeah. depended on the title of the movie. So if it had the word body in it. Or, or steam, seductress, or any or... kind of weather. Hot, <laughs> hot legs. Fall girl, seventeen. Yeah, bro. Oh. it's spiders four. Yeah, you're like, what is this? I'm gonna jerk off. To Bikini this. aliens, seventeen. <laughs> and you're like, there's gonna be tits in that. <laughs> I got, I got so good at it. But then the one that always made me worried was when it was like nudity, strong sexual content, graphic content, violence. And you're like, please don't be mixed in. Oh all that. man, is it all at the same time? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, it's well, came. Now I can't come again. And this goes back to a child's movie you're like what they just fucking turn it on that quick yeah i uh i mean that it was so funny because it was it was it a lack of porn that made us little horn balls when we were kids yeah. that we were jerking off to everything yeah you know, you, it was it so was are like, our kids gonna be less horny than us I think, well I there's a story horny. out today that americans are having less sex than they did 20 years That's, ago that i've seen stuff to th- and i've seen like christine you uh, can put that up people say like uh erectile dysfunction is up and people who but watch we have the porn pills. have worse like you know like sex performance there's a problem in japan i read uh, uh this was <laughs> japanese like people i know they're everywhere oh lewis we're not supposed to say that in the microphones uh they the japanese uh guys aren't ejaculating in women because they're watching so much porn that they always pull out so like when they're married it's like hard it's like i must have born out. uh here it is right now uh today sex seems more available well of course it is uh according to a recent study published in the archives of sexual behavior a large general social survey found that american adults had about Sex nine fewer times per year in the er- in the early 2010s than they did in the late 1990s. That's not that big of a difference. That's not that big of a difference. I was expecting nine times but- per year. I mean, that's like fucking. All right, like- CNN. Why are you all horned I up? Would, I they guess- go, hey, is it just me or are we not fucking enough? Fake news. I guess I just fake know- horny news. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's that impressive a number, but it would seem to me there's something like the- it just fucks with like the innocence you have when like when I was 19. I, I'd imagine I was so you much more innocent? clueless, sexually speaking. I wasn't an innocent, but I didn't know all the detailed stuff you know when you see nineteen. Porn. Yeah, I know. Well, you have no. The, I wasn't. You've lived the longest, shortest life of anybody I know. You go. I was a sailor when I was thirteen. <laughs> the sea made my hands tough. I mean, but I know what you're talking about. I wasn't about. like a good kid. I mean, I was no, like but a I'm, kid when who I got was... in trouble. I'm just saying, sexually <clears> speaking, I didn't have like 
kinky stuff in my head. The idea of like choking a chick or, Dude, or any of that, so, I never would have thought of. So when I was 16, <clears throat> to get a porn, to get porn, if you didn't want to fucking like borrow a tape from a friend or something, my friend Joel got a fake ID and there was a place called Newsland in Aurora and they had a porn section and what would happen is, I would, when the guy wasn't looking, I would go into the porn section and like quick, like, sh- uh, like the shopping spree thing where you just fucking keep grabbing. You like look around and be like, all right, uh, splat on my rack too. And yeah. this over here. And then I'd come back out and Joel would be there and I'd be like, all right, go in, go to the right, get splat my rack too. And this oh, one. Well, Dan, why did you, you had to literally go in and sneak in and give him the selections. Why don't you just say, hey dude, I like this. Cause I don't want my order. friend knowing what I want to beat to. I don't no. want him being it's like. the same shit. He's going to look at the splat my rack too and see if that's what you beat to. Let's well, come. It's cum shots on the tip. This is what normal. you should have done. You have to think like this. Like, let's, right, say, let's, say, let's say you're coming to me and you're like, hey, dude, I want you to buy me lunch, but I don't know any restaurants in the neighborhood. You would tell me what you're in the mood for. You wouldn't <laughs> fucking you wouldn't give me some go, specific. Good point. Yeah, yeah, listen to him. He brings a lot of 12 year olds porn. He goes, just tell me what you're into. He goes, mister, this is weird. Damn, damn, damn. We've worked this out to a science <laughs> now. I can break this down into five categories. Okay. But just think not, of me like a search box. Porn, even when I would occasionally see porn or we get our hands on a video tape porn was like it changed it, it, it was like a, it wasn't real it was like a chick with like a perm yeah. she was like a Hollywood fake there were steam she was like machines it, it was like some guy with long hair yeah. slick back nowadays porn it's like some girl in college it's like so you're trying porn she's like yeah just thought I'd get yeah, fucked on that's camera that's a style it became a thing Gonzo yeah. porn became a style of well, uh, I remember Shane's World and all those that started was the first ones yeah it was and it was, was kind of like that was the thing you know what it is it, it, for me personally, right, I can't, I can't watch like black porn, like do, like big black cocks fucking chicks, right? I can't yeah. watch black anything. I, I was like, black, <laughs> you just turn it off. I don't want them on my TV. BET. Yeah, yeah. Dave's in his hotel room. He goes, mm, no, 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 no. I can't. Uh, I watch got, BET. I got no problem with BET. I can't you can't watch, stay over there on BET. I can't watch them on property. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying you don't watch. <laughs> You don't watch black porn. No, I can't watch black porn because it, I can't fantasize that you're the guy having that big black cock. I'm not. Like, no, the fantasy just becomes my chick's cheating on me with a black dude with a huge cock. Yeah, that's not fun. I, then it, for me, it just reminds me that I have terrible handles in basketball, and I just feel bad about myself. <laughs> like, I couldn't get past this guy in the open court. <laughs> I go one on one. Know it. This guy's taking me to the hole every time. I better hope this guy's double teaming someone else, and I get an open look at a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> the Shane's world. The Shane's world thing. <laughs> Do you hear that Lexington steal? You give me 15 feet, I'll shoot all day. <laughs> I'll fucking, I'll rain on you. You hear that, Shawn Michaels? <laughs> not... Look, look, those big black guys can slam it home, but Dave's got solid fundamentals. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Marcus, I got a first step that'll bury you. <laughs> You're just looking at my You're trying to play basketball. Just, yeah. It's just us three against the three. <laughs> the most famous yeah. black boys. Yeah. yeah, three on the big three. We want to like Lexington Steel, Mr. Marcus and Shawn Michaels. We're calling you out for Ice Cube's new league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's the celebrity game, the low-grade celebrity game. By the way, but it's great. I, I yeah. couldn't... Uh, uh, big three, it's awesome. It's great. The three-on-three league's awesome. Shane's World is the one that, like, was the first one of, like, oh, shit, I could just be dude, on a ski slope. I remember... Hanging out she, with my friends. Dude, I remember a double beach. Could show up and start sucking cocks. I remember a double beach on Shane's World with these two Australian guys where the guy literally goes, hey, you want me to take over my boxes? And she's like, yeah, take him off. I'm like, yo, this is real. Yeah. That's a real guy. Yeah. I was like 21 in college. Oh, and that's all. That guy's living, that just, dude's getting his blowjob on. That was Taylor, something about Taylor Hayes was his wife that would do it for, or. Those, those when it was like the porn girl comes to you. And Why are you Lewis, serious, really? Lewis? That's just disrespectful. Your shoes human. are off. This is my old studio. I need them to know that it's I not, have no I know it's your old studio because you fucking, I left my email open and you posted a dumb fake email that you wrote to Jay. I wrote to Jay that you quit the bonfire. (laughs) Oh, dude. But that is, I mean, feet, put your shoes back on. Yeah, you smell like old feet and skateboard. Yeah, I don't want fucking skateboard feet just permeating the air. But back to Shane's world, that was when it was like wrestling was still real. Yeah. You kind of felt like, oh, this could fucking happen to any of us. Well, it's like you, you were like, you're like, look, I know it's fake, but dude, those moves, they yeah. really hurt. That hurts. That she's hurt. taking There's a dick. No she's not taking a dick. Yeah, I mean, come on. She can pretend it doesn't hurt, but it hurts. She's kind of, she seems to be enjoying it somewhere. She's working 300 days a year. She yeah. doesn't see her family. But now, nowadays, it's almost like, there's this weird thing where, okay, so after that generation, then the porn thing where it's, it's like the real girl. Yeah. Came in like, oh, the girl getting tricked at an audition or something. Like, I came in for bikini modeling and this is, you know, like, but 
but and it's fake. It's like a fake thing. Ah, uh, those were a good eight years there where you were allowed to basically rape a chick on camera in porn. That was it. You're well, those not, tricking chicks. No, no, yeah. that's forced, no longer acceptable. That's oh my whole, god, dude. Well, there's all that. That's not true. There's if you search like their rape, rape porn is like no, a huge, huge if thing. If you search the word rape porn, it's on, forced. Search forced. Yeah, and you will find nothing but the right. porn. even in our porn. No, no, no. Listen, they have trust SJW, me. SJW. I know they have, but they have SJW our porn to another level. You cannot find rape. Dude, I love that not and raping. That's not true. Uh, but that's just such a funny sentence where you go. I just want to let you know they've taken away our rights on rape porn. <laughs> rape porn is what like, you're so, dismantle the patriarchy. Uh, yeah. But you're telling me I can't get my rape porn. Well, but if I want to see a girl get mentally tricked and I'm sucking a dude's dick on a black but leather you, couch, but isn't there something where it's almost kind of like even though those right. things are are all kind of fake, like it's porn. But like they at this point. Those girls, there's so many thousands, thousands, thousands of them. Those girls aren't really porn stars. They're just kind of like chicks who did porn. Yeah, like yeah. a lot of those girls Somebody who are like college the girls, day. like they're not really. So it is like you're just kind of watching a college girl. So do you think like, this lack of sex is what? What? what it's barely a lack of sex. But it, do you think? Kids watching hardcore porn from the time they're 11, 12 years old on is just going to be sensitive. I don't know what it is. It's coming to change, easier. though. It must do something it's different. Got, it's it's going to fuck us up. It's a different up. thing. It's not going to be good. We're not going to be I like, don't think so. I'm a tender lover to my wife because I, I watch I, gangbang porn. Is, I think what happens is we are... It is much easier to see something visual and jerk off to it and come to it very quickly. That process is a lot easier today than it was 10, 15 it's years instant. ago. Just like if I want to jerk off, if I want to literally jerk off to, you know, two hot girls with tattoos blowing a Puerto Rican guy to the, to the point where they spit in each other's mouth, I can find a hundred versions of that exact fucking video. Yeah. So that accessibility, boom, I can just rock one out really quick. So I don't need to, if I want to come, it used to be like I could fucking go find my girlfriend and fuck her, which might actually be easier Gross. than going and get a tape, putting <laughs> it in, setting everything up. Now it's just so easy to come by jerking yeah. off that it's like you're, you know. You're Look, I say that. I'll say I've found, but in my own, I mean maybe it's different for people. I found in my own personal life, if I cutting back on like jerking off to porn and particularly getting lost in like crazy porn and stuff like that Dude. makes my sex life much better. If the you more don't, I can, if you don't yeah, watch yeah. porn, the more it makes it's like if you can go if you I can agree. not jerk I off uh, uh, for a while I think the sex with well your girlfriend lives in California. <laughs> yeah. If I uh, <laughs> you didn't jerk off you'd die. Uh, but True. it's like, or you'd start a lot more fights saying, on a penny score board. Cut out porn or cut out jerking off. But I, I, just, I just don't do it. Like, the more I do, this it, might it just take some time. I'll tell you why. You know why? Because it makes you more adventurous, right? You watch the porn, right? I see what happens there. I see a chick, you know, gagging or crying or fucking <laughs> screaming for help. And I'm like, oh, we can bring <laughs> this to the bedroom now. I don't need porn to know that's what I'm going to do to Also, my you have a mustache like that does get you off. Hmm. <laughs> that's a very fucking, yeah, tire to a tree. Train tracks, maybe yell out, help me, Superman! And you go, no one's gonna help you out. It's, it's, the guy's did, beating bombs, off. did bombs ever exist where you push down on the, the lever? That's like a yes, thing. That's dynamite. Yeah. Those are real bombs? Yeah, oh, yeah it, it's, it's set the off 30s? a charge to the dynamite. That's how you used to like blow, like tunnels and that's shit. That's how, if I was gonna murder somebody, that's how I'd do it. I'd tie it to them to a train tracks with yeah. dynamite around them, and then I'd... In black and white, with but like also that sticky it, music playing. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it make more sense if that music was playing, and they had their twisting their mustaches, if they were jerking off to that? <laughs> like, that was their thing? Because that would make sense of why he tied a woman to a train track. He's like, nah, that's my thing. Yeah, what a weird way Oh, to... gee, mister, aren't you gonna blow me up? He goes, nah, damn, just nah. here to jerk off on your tits. I'll untie you when I come. <laughs> He's like, or if Superman gets here... How yes. many, was How anybody much? ever murdered by being tied to train tracks? Oh, yeah. Search that shit. That big has problem. to be like, uh, where <laughs> did they come up with that? Oh, that was, that was in Chicago before Chicago. <laughs> it was one out of four. That's like a generic, people. like, old, old timey movie thing where oh, yeah. you tie a bitch to a train track and you, just, <laughs> you watch it. Like, you know, you used to play SJWR porn so much, we can't even tie a woman to train tracks. So, I think most you people would have, like, kids? a family of eight, like, maybe two of them would die of polio, one would go on the train track tied out. Well, one, you would take a penny and you put it on the train track and have it flatten the Penny, like I got yeah. a penny. Is that what they were trying to do with their bitches back in the day? I don't think pennies. they were trying to flatten. Pennies were worth a lot back then. They go, you know, my wife Abigail goes right in my back pocket. <laughs> She's so flat. I had the I had the, the three ten over to Fresno run right over her. She's I, right in my I back use her, pocket. I use her as a bookmark. Uh, yeah. Oh, not much. Mother of four is tied to rail tracks with duct tape by her ex partner and run over by a two hundred mile an hour express train yeah. in a murder suicide in France. When is this? This is from Did this guy. Two thousand seventeen. This is from. Uh, Fucking Gary's birthday, June 14th. This is a week ago. 
Well, it's a month ago. Blues, you, a blues, husband you killed his wife. Moi. I want to tie you to a railroad. I've been watching all these old movies. <laughs> I'm going to tie you to a train track. Uh, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it is a slightly more advanced bomb uh, than yeah. I was used to in the movies. You oh, so it will <laughs> permanent perfume right before your death. So, bitch, you think you are going to marry someone else? I will show you. Yeah. So, then boom, she goes. Ah, uh, uh, love, uh, love is a funny thing, no? This <laughs> 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 ah, <it's> so romantic. <laughs> Under the moonlight, me duct taping you to a. <laughs> uh, this, oh, mon sorry. Oh, quack quack! I have the strongest tape, the duct tape. <laughs> a husband killed his wife by tying her to the rail tracks with duct tape, then leaping in front of a 200 mile an hour express train that killed both instantly. Alright, so he took himself out. Kind of romantic. If I can have you, no one will. He goes, oh, this is like the worst game of double Dutch ever, no? Okay. (laughs) I imagine every Frenchman makes love like Pepe Le Pew, like he literally just rapes a cat. That's one of my favorite Chappelle jokes. uh, Jesus, Pepe, take it easy. (laughs) (laughs) What kind of fucking rapist is this guy? That's great. (laughs) My favorite is this one. He goes, see, Uncle Dave, sometimes you need to take the pussy. I was like, ow! Uh, 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 That was the best. So I think, yeah, I mean, Chappelle is still the best. I think... uh Put out two specials this year. <laughs> I think this is a very French way to die, too. French old-timey way to die. That's, like, again, it takes a lot of French people. The same murder-suicide. Man, they're more, they're more creative overseas with how they kill each other, I think, than mm-hmm. here. Yeah, well, you know. They have more panel. Well, they have we make be. better movies. Yeah, true. Yeah, so we everyone's have, we got have so time. much awesome stuff here. Like, if you're from another country, you would probably want to kill yourself and others. Yeah, but, like, that is like a... Um, Two British boys, both 11, guilty of murder, murdering toddler. All right, well, that's super dark. Okay, hold on. Dick's out. It's from 1993. That toddler would be... First Clinton administration. Do I want to blame the Clintons? Mm, you know, I think Dave... in England. Well, I can, in England. I can tell you he was always soft See? on toddler crime. <laughs> he was t- two chubby-cheeked 11-year-old boys were convicted today of... Why did you of, have to add that they were what? chubby-cheeked? Yeah, why are you making them all cute? What a weird description. Because, by the, the way, the, the following... Two blo- blue-eyed, chubby-cheeked boys. Two men who... Little boys who cheeks look like marshmallows. Um, I'd say one was a seven, the other was like an eight out of ten, yeah. and... um. They yeah, they killed this kid. Definitely killed. The abduction and murder and the beating death last February of a uh, Liverpool toddler. Two fuckable boys were accused. <laughs> so there's no train tracks. Did they time to guys, the train tracks? We're just looking for train tracks. Guys, yeah. Murder. Yeah, sure, guys. If we're going to open it up to toddler murder, we can find a lot of cool stories. I want but... you to keep it mass transportation. <laughs> we got to keep... I'll some, give you a bus. Some maybe sort of yeah, Euro rail. There, there has to be a few A Japanese here. bullet train. <laughs> there sure. has to be, it has to be some sort of uh, mode of transportation, and there has to be some sort of fastening tool. It could be glue. It could yeah. be a rope. Oh, a glue anything. to the tracks. Gorilla you could be, glue. Listen, you could be glued to a fucking... Fucking helicopter propeller. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say, if you, if you can find glue, that's actually preferable I would, to any other. Pump that. We, we'd love a glue. Good uh, I remember my sister put crazy glue on her hands and put her hands on the metal bars of her bike when she was a kid. Why? And after a second, they were just like completely stuck. <laughs> Why would she do and that? And we're all like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Of course that happened. Why it's would she glue. think that? So she put crazy glue like all over her hands or yeah, a little bit? She squirted bit? it in her hands and then put them on the... She, she believed uh, in a crazy glue conspiracy. Yeah. She's like, God, crazy glue's made of water, okay? There's no adhesive there. It's Watch. Solvable. It's Oh, all... God, it's real. Yeah. Those YouTube videos are bullshit. Oh, God, I thought it was the placebo effect. <laughs> it's not. This is real How'd stick. How'd you get her off? She just pulled them off and her skin came oh. off with it and bled. It was brutal. This is why I mean you've had the longest, shortest life of anyone I know. Yeah, yeah. And nobody wanted a handjob from her after that. All right. She's all scabbed up. Yeah. It's like horrible. <laughs> it's like scary stories told in the dark. <laughs> uh, we're going to take our first break. Louis J. Gomez and Dave Smith from Legion of Skanks hanging out while Jay is in Montreal. Louis J. Gomez is going to be at Laughing Up in Poughkeepsie on Saturday, July 29th. You can also listen to him on Legion of Skanks, Real Ass Podcast, and Believe You Me. Yeah, he's still with Bisbing on that, on the Gas Digital Network. That's right, motherfuckers. And then Dave Smith going to be up at Just for Laughs in Montreal starting July 26th. And check his special, his awesome special, Libertaris, will be coming out later this year. We'll be right back. It's the Bonfire. And now, back to the Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. 
Mmm, that's the classic from Player. We're doing sad songs all day on the bonfire, because Big J's up in Canada for the Just for Laughs Festival, doing the Nasty Show, and he's doing five What's Your Fucking Deals. Go to BigJComedy.com for that. I'm Dan Soder, and with me, Dave Smith and Louis J. Gomez from the Legion of Skanks. That's right. We'll probably both be up on one of those What's Your Fucking Deals. Fucking A. Dave Smith going to be up in Montreal. I'm going to be up there next Wednesday. We're doing our anniversary show. Two-year anniversary show of the Bonfire next Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Hyatt Regency Hotel, the Soprano Sea Room. Free show for our fans. So if you want to make it to the show and you're in Montreal next week or next Wednesday, email us at thebonfiresxm at gmail.com for or, tickets. Is that true? Have you guys or been doing this for two years? Yeah. As I heard of this show today. Yeah, oh, really? Was oh, yeah, no, this is the Bonfire. You guys I know, have been doing a radio show regularly. I mean, yeah, almost every week. It's weird. I'm... Close friends with both of you guys. I know. I think we never, try to tell you, but I think you have selective hearing. It never Lewis, what were you going to say? Well, you don't have to be up in Montreal to fucking go. Why don't I make a plan to go up to Montreal? What a great city. Oh! You don't have to just be up there already. You can come see the bonfire. You can tell you can a woman die. to the tracks while you eat the smoked meat sandwich and poutine. Oh, have your lover wronged you? Tie her to the train tracks. Maybe you want to look through her cell phone. See yeah. if she's texting any other gentleman. Maybe there is a big black guy she cannot take to the hole. <laughs> Maybe you tie her to the tracks. Maybe you tie him to the tracks too. Yeah. But seriously, uh, probably only if you live in Montreal. Yeah, but if you're going to be there for the festival, you should just email us at thebonfiresxm at gmail. Also, fire, uh, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, I we, Me and Jacob read this story a long time ago, and we just never got to it, but I think you two are the perfect ones. This 18-year-old from Romania. Yeah. Okay. Keep mm. going with that. Alexandra Kefren. Ooh. All right, pull it back a little. Uh, made global headlines auctioning off her virginity for a million dollars. I was right. I was right with my assessment. Yeah. You said 18-year-old Alexandra from Romania? No, 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 Lewis. This is going to a respectable place. Yeah. yeah. She's selling her pussy. Uh... <laughs> uh, since then, an anonymous Hong Kong businessman has offered the team $2.5 million. Oh, here. oh, was that, was the other guy like a rival of his who he's trying yeah. to, at this point, is it just about Who the have you talked to? <laughs> have you talked to him? Oh, you yeah. think you outbidding me for pussy? Yeah, I am the top Hong Kong virginity <laughs> stealing businessman. <laughs> I will bring dishonor to my house. My daddy told me yeah. when I was young, Take you pussy. never lose a pussy bid. You go, don't you understand? In Hong Kong, this is one of their greatest sports. Paying no, for money. This is the chick? That's her? No. Fuck, yeah. Oh, it's worth it. Holy. Let me nah, see. She got Jesus. schnoz on her, though. Looking for the picture up front. Oh, Lewis. It's yeah, she's nice. Romanian. Yeah. Of course. Let me see. Let me see the picture. Oh, her face. Dude, it's fucking. She that's high level. Her on her. That, I don't, this kind of a weird, weird body. Body. That's the Jew in me. I don't mind it. Jacob, would you? I go a little more you're, wrong. You're reacting strong like you would pay top dollar for this. I'd have her all to myself. I could be her first, her only. I ended Your up, love uh, making must be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I called that one yesterday. <laughs> yeah. But isn't everything's relative to how much money you have, right? Because like if you if you have two dollars a day, then spending a dollar on coffee is crazy or exactly. something like that, right? But if you have a million dollars, spending a dollar on coffee is crazy. so. If you have a, a how much billion? money do you have? If you have billions, is is a million for yeah. some, for some high level pussy? Well, hold on, I've had, I've been. What in are you going to do this weekend? I've, had, I've been in positions where I've had three hundred dollars and I've gotten hooker. For 130, for so, and all you've so had is 300. dollars this, I would, if this so guy that's only was worth that's five crazy. million dollars, that's way more. That's paying more in a sense. Yeah. Than if someone who has and that hooker money. was disgusted. Yeah. And this girl, look at this girl. Three hundred dollars. Oh, hold on. For uh, here's we have the news story. Movie on TV. Uh, it was about a girl who sold herself for one million and nine. Indecent proposal. proposal. Yes. Yes, that's it. Indecent. And hold on. This bitch modeled her life after indecent proposal. She goes, I see a movie when I was little girl in Russia. That it is, is It is starting Demi Moore. She goes to the military. She cuts all of her hair off. <laughs> Kill men. Yes. No, no, no. That's G.I. Jane. She goes, I uh, yes. a coming of age story where young boy moves into woods. And I, I see a movie about men who's bored with life. He starts fight club. <laughs> um, he I fights mean, other men. Turn out same man. <laughs> he is Tyler Durden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so I see this movie, it is about a man and a little boy, and the little boy speaks to dead people the whole time. Uh. 
Turns out at the end of the movie, the man is dead. That is my life. I based my life. I am dead. Inside. So uh, I'm so willing anyway, to sell my pussy for any highest picture. So anyway, it was just that movie. Also, but, my uncle raped me. Also, also, I had to wait in bread line, and if I sucked off guard, we got to front. <laughs> 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 right. This is the throwaway. Yeah. It's always the reach. It's also um, a, um, evil dictator rape whole family I watch. Yeah, anyways. Uh, anyways, I love I have... pretty woman, <laughs> Julia Roberts. I have a fairly normal childhood, uh, three sisters. We have dog. Uh, we take vacation. Also, father puts cigar out on my forehead yeah. every day from age 8 to 12. Um, I, little girl, I see Julia Roberts. I say she's so pretty. <laughs> and that is really a reason. Also, every night before I went to bed, Father fuck face. <laughs> uh, all right, hit play on the video. Yeah, she's not that hot, hmm. by the way. Maybe I can do this too with my virginity. This 18 year old model shocked the world by auctioning off her virginity. That was, that was good. I, I kind of pause it for a second. I thought that that was the actual voiceover. Yeah. And I was like, they are selling this. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah. This is really... just turning around. And he's go, he goes, she's not that hot. Oh, you know what? All right. Oh, when, you throw, when you throw some makeup and a good VO artist over her, <laughs> why am I all geek? Why do I feel like I want to fuck her and run through Wait, so she does, she does <laughs> Can like you go a... back and have Dan do it again? That was some of the best VO work I've ever heard in my entire life. Thanks, bro. Dan, do the VO for this, the, the VO for this girl's life falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know where she was going. But in a world yeah. where her father has been raping her and beating her since she was six. But she got a dick with a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> in a world where someone saw in Indecent proposal. <laughs> yeah. In a world where indecent this proposal came out on VHS this year, <laughs> this summer, a girl a on world. the other side of the wall yeah. saw a movie from a different decade, starring Woody Harrelson, Demi Moore. <laughs> in a world where shitty '90s movies <laughs> arrive in 2017. <laughs> In a country where all the information is controlled, a little girl learns <laughs> that she wants to fuck for money. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. I love the voiceover of somebody's life falling apart. But the, I like doing it like it's a catchy 90s film. Like, this is actually a story. Like, uh, yeah, do you have, like, cheesy 90s like... movie trailer music, Lou? Who Doesn't it seem like she has, like, money behind her? Or, like, it, it feels like... Not to get conspiratorial, but, aren't but it takes like, money like, to make money. <laughs> but it's like then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, she just happened to do this," and there happened to be all these news outlets reporting on it, and then she also happens to have like a glamour, sexy photo spread. Like for a virgin, she's being quite. I'll a take, whore, can I tell you, you know? why? Like, like, just two things. Number one, I went to a whorehouse in um, Reno, okay, and there was a girl there that they were auctioning off her virginity. Nowhere near as hot as her. I think the top bid was like forty five thousand dollars. They go, they go. You got a Target coupon and twenty bucks. <laughs> you can be your first. You can be a monumental fuck for but this. But the, the 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 agency, the escort. Lewis was like Lewis's version was like you know where the government like repossesses cars and then yeah. they auction them yeah. off. Yeah. Cop like, auction at that, at that virginity auction. This pussy belonged to a drug dealer who we <laughs> confiscated with over four pounds in the trunk. You can have a virginity for some decent Mets tickets. And they were saying. Like they would take out some block in the car so it could go fast. <laughs> yeah, governor. Yeah, so fu the fucking it was a cop car, so they took out the block. Turns out this chick ain't street legal. <laughs> Everything, this chick in the nineties or earlier, everyone had something that wasn't street legal, like yeah. your car, your shower, yeah, your, your, your cable, cable box, the cable yeah. box. Yeah, that's yeah, what it was. Three hundred dollars, dude. I got every fucking pay per view, dude. If you want to watch every pay per view, yeah. just give me seven hundred dollars and I'll meet you in a Walmart parking like, lot. Like, like my my dad John's or my my friend John's dad was like a police sergeant yeah and like they had like a legal cable box it would have like like shit that he like he goes he would plant drugs on people <laughs> he would do so much fun shit he killed people he raped people and above all he's just stole cable yeah you they, know, they, as he's getting escorted in the courtroom you go hey throwing stolen cable and all that <laughs> it's an escort agency so what they do is they're putting the money into this because they're trying okay, to sell so there's her. my answer oh. it's fucking it, they gotta grab so the designer on saying. it so this, oh I guess I could've looked at the top left hand corner where it says Cinderella escorts that's yeah. hilarious that's who's got the picture so hold at on midnight she turns back into an AIDS ridden pig <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god you used voodoo <laughs> you used voodoo against me down Betsy into yeah. your cage for the night aha I, you've been tricked again. Um, oh, do you have that corny music? This summer, a girl learns <laughs> she's much more than her worth. 
When a Hong Kong businessman <laughs> ponies up with some extra coin to take her for a ride she won't yeah. forget. <laughs> After deciding to sell her virginity, she finds out the buyer is Asian. <laughs> when she thinks the, she's in for the most painful experience of her life, she learns he's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> this August, this August, hitting theaters everywhere. This July 4th, <laughs> she is girl who came over in a container unit. She uh, is yeah. broken anyone, child. Yeah. How can anyone possibly be sure she's a virgin? Uh, the, I don't oh, know. You can get yeah, man feeling that. If this Hong Kong businessman is laying down two point four, two point four million dollars, he's coming in there with a doctor going, "I want you to check her." Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course, Christine. I'll, We'll have to speak to all of your friends from high school. (laughs) And all the kids that heard a thing. You gotta see if the hymen's intact. I mean, you can break a hymen with a tampon. Yeah. Yeah, but if also, uh, uh, let me say something. A Ukrainian tampon? That's a rough go. If I go to a store and the fucking, and the, I don't care if somebody's taking a sip from it or not, but if the seal is broken on a Coke, I'm not buying it. Cocaine a virgin. That's it. (laughs) That Coke is contaminated. That whore is assuming. I'm assuming that her seal was not broken. He comes in and her seal's broken and he goes, can I talk it to you outside? <laughs> Do I look like an idiot? <laughs> I'm a no virgin person. <laughs> I flew all the way over here from Howard Carr and you want to give me uh, all that b- I can't return this? <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Oh, you gave me an open the bag of chips. <laughs> I pay for a tiger. You give me alley cat. <laughs> yeah. I want a dragon. You give me a uh, iguana. Ah, <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go back. <laughs> the hotel is booked. Let's go back to it. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, the video of her. Now, Alexandra Kefrin says the hotel is booked. After a businessman in Hong Kong offered the team $2.5 million for her first time. Kevin is working with Cinderella Escorts, an agency that specializes in this kind of arrangement. Go to Cinderella Escorts Wait, real pause. quick. Uh, they specialize in this kind of arrangement? Dude, Taking what advantage a, of young children. What a great they shark They specialize tank. in selling virgin pussy for $2.4 million? Dollars? Holy <laughs> shit, these guys rock ass. There you go. You sold that on Shark Tank? You walk in and they go, what's your idea? You go, we take virgin pussy. <laughs> I'm looking yeah. for... And I'm, we sell it. I'm looking for a $200,000 investment for a 4% stake <laughs> in my virgin pussy selling business. You know what is it? You know, like he, my Cuban asks you, goes, "What is it?" You go, "It's pimp." <laughs> goes, uh, I'm, I'd be happy to work with any of you, but I really just want to get that chick who has the infomercials. That's, yeah. a, that's a business model. Oh, these I bitches think. are high quality right now. So here's the deal, right? They got name. I, this is I another level. Very, when you have porn stars on your fucking escort you service, fuck. yeah, where you crazy. can like literally look them up. Uh, do, they have is, a, do they have a roster, Christine? Because here's what happened. We worked okay, it out with her. a deal with Sirius where, Dave, Lewis, you both get to pick one. What? Yeah, it's going to go on the Sirius I, tab. I have a girlfriend, I pick so to I can't. make love to my girlfriend. Can we turn these mics off? So <laughs> yeah. I, can make love uh, I got to block out the uh, cameras and everything going in here. Can you guys? Seriously. So, I mean, a lot of them are just tattooed. They look, they look like roller derby chicks. They just Is look it? like the last ten chicks Lewis hooked up with at a comedy club. Huh. <laughs> oh, you can go age... 18 to 50. Do they have 50-year-olds? No. Let's see what kind of 50-year-olds they have. Let me see something they, in the 50. They pay you? Yeah. Please, uh, please touch uh, me. Could you help me with my groceries? <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, young man. After I give you a hand job, can you show me how to use this tablet? <laughs> Do you want to know what Jimmy Carter was like as president? <laughs> And she's bad. She's, 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 wearing, she's wearing like the little, like the nipple tassels from the fifties. <laughs> I've got a boy who wants to go to Chattanooga. <laughs> I want Cinderella sent me over. Don't worry, at midnight I turn into a prune. Oh, would you hand me one of those delicious chocolate raisins? Oh, if, you know, have you ever had a blowjob while someone has a Werther's original in their mouth? <laughs> oh, it's like Christmas morning. Oh, are these the 50-year-olds? No, I think that unless I log in, I can't do log that. Log in, you <laughs> I can't have to, like, read. I can't <laughs> probably need a credit card. Moron. Oh. It would be great if uh, she just pulls this up and, like, in the right corner it says, Hi, Christine. 
Jesus. Oh my God. Sign up right now. You act like Jay would have an issue with you signing up for this. If Jay was here right now, he'd be signing up. He would have, he would have thrown his credit card at you like a ninja star. <laughs> fucking across the room. So, uh, you can go back to this. You can go back to this. I the love video. the fact I, that I they have their own it. fucking system where you can go by age, the type, very high quality web presence on this website. I mean, they're making, I, 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 usually, say, I think Christine did make a very good point. No. That I don't, I know, it seems unbelievable. <laughs> it's but as unbelievable. I say it, I start questioning it myself. <laughs> yeah. But I just am having a really hard time believing that someone who's like ready to sell their pussy is doing these fucking photo shoots has never had a dick in her before. Like, well, I'd really want to see some fucking proof of this. You know, let's, like that's, I just don't. Let's go back to the video. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to pay $2.4 million. I can't you know spend can another do? few bucks on figuring something out. Yeah. Oh, let when me tell you, you, you could probably hire a private investigator no, for $4,000. Yeah. You, you get, you get a sample. Let's you at least the first payment. You say, let me see your pussy. And you lick it a bunch and you're like, you know what? I'm good. Like a paint swatch? Yep. You look at me. Uh, not the pink enough. Yeah. <laughs> I use the same trick on my local Froyo place. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. are furious. You could just literally, you could just take every sample of every single flavor, and then that's what I would do with Cinderella escorts. I would just eat all their pussies and be like, you know what? I've decided I'm not hungry. Yeah, yeah, that son of a bitch pink buried us. Yeah. Oh my god, he just Costco got back in line. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Play the rest of the video. The company's taking 20% of the profits. 500k for this deal. That's a fair commitment. With the money, Kefren plans to buy her parents a house. Her dad's like, I don't want the house. You do. Hold on. Have the house. Although her mom and dad have made it clear they don't approve. Of course they don't. I am very happy daughter followed heart. Alexandra aspires to study business and marketing at Oxford University. More like Coxford University. Ah, oh, dumb whore. But she already seems to have a master. Oh, sorry. <laughs> But she already seems to have a master's in the world's oldest profession. Oh, of course, New York. Also, no, they, she doesn't have out. a master's if she's never even done it. And Thank also, you. what a stupid statement. Uh, can you bring up, uh, apparently her parents, like, were very vocal about it. And they're like, hey, we have money. We don't. The dad is a riot police officer. Oh, boy. Mom is a pharmacist about to have a pill problem. And they claim they don't need the money. That's fucking insane. He's yeah, like, they threatened to disown her. Yeah, well, I mean, she made it pretty public. Well, look, nobody needs two point four million dollars, you know, but but that doesn't mean you won't take two point four million dollars. And where she didn't exactly Romania? say he's, he didn't say he's turning down the house, did he? I think she's Romanian. Or well, how much is the, how much is the average Romania. house in Romania? I wonder. I bet it's like really cheap. I don't yeah. know much about the history of, of Romania, Nothing. but I'd imagine one out of every three people are starving to death. Yeah. So, like that. Taking two point four million is going to. I just be imagine big there. all the houses are onion domes. Uh, oh, that's probably. fun. I kind of yeah. like that. Yeah. What's the average? Co- what's the cost of living in Romania? Because two point four million dollars that could probably go a long way. She might be the queen of so, Romania. Cost of living in Romania is forty eight point nine one percent. So about, about half of what half of what it costs in the United States. Yeah. There we go. So that's five fucking mil. She goes, mother, father. I know you do not agree, but this pussy made me queen of Romania. I buy all of you. Sell all of you. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Do me a favor. Pull your pants down. Here's a hundred dollars. Wipe yourself with it. <laughs> you dirty pig. This is my new husband. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, your daughter bring you much shame. Yeah, but she is a pinker like a salmon. <laughs> so, <laughs> good <laughs> to go. Dear is good to go. All right, we're going to take another break. We'll be right back with Dave Smith and Louis J. Gomez from the Legion of Skanks. It's the bonfire. It's the skank fire. It's whatever you want to call it. And now, back to the bonfire with Big Jay Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, Sinead O'Connor. More Missing You music. Big Jay Okerson up in Montreal for just the last comedy festival. Uh, doing the nasty show. And what's your fucking deal? Go to BigJayComedy.com for tickets. It's the bonfire on Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. With me, Louis J. Gomez and Dave Smith of Legion of Skanks. And entering the studio... Who you can catch on the Tonight Show this Friday, and also catch his half-hour Netflix special on the stand-ups. Nate Bargatze, everybody. Hey, oh, oh wow! Well, right. well, you don't have the headphones on, but it's actually pretty. It sounded good. Yeah, it's like a stadium full going. Studio audience. I get hit. Oh, yeah. You want these headphones? Here you go, bud. Oh, Lewis, by the way, uh, automatically I, uh, walks in and has control. <laughs> Both of you guys Wait, had he uh, has great your headphones. Yeah, Lewis. Here's the, the ones that are broken. 
Well, hold on. I was going to compliment you. I'll keep it quick. Yeah. But both of you guys had great half hours. Go check Dang. them out. Oh, They're both up dude. on Netflix. You guys both killed it. I'm excited to see your special later this year. Libertaris. Going to be Libertas. 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 I can't it's read. Latin for freedom. It? Is it really? Yeah. It's Libertas. Latin for Dan can't read. Yeah. <laughs> Libertas for seen, uh, public schools are pretty bad in Colorado. You might have seen the preview uh, the day our special came out. It was posted. <laughs> oh, dude, that was great on Twitter where Lewis, Lewis tagged actually. Nate and he goes, hey, can you promote Dave's uh, trailer for a special? And Nate's like, yeah, I'm just going to promote my special that came out today. But <laughs> sure. Lewis, Lewis asked me to strategically tweet uh, 30 seconds after Nate tweets to try to bump him out <laughs> yeah. of people's Twitter feeds. He goes, get him out of there. We got to, you're like, you're, the special's not even out, Lewis. He's like, no, still. We gotta get the number for the YouTube videos and that clip up. <laughs> we gotta pump it up. Um, Nate, before you joined us, we were talking about this Romanian girl that sold her virginity for $2.5 million. She was sponsored by this, uh, escort website called Cinderella. Turns mm. out we were looking through their prices off, uh, during commercial. Is this one of the virgins, Christine? <laughs> I'll tell you, they're fairly reasonable prices. How I much is like the, they sponsor her the same way that like fighters get sponsored? Like they throw a logo on her ass, <laughs> Jack's beef jerky, yeah, on the back, Condom Depot across her ass, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just KY jelly, and you're like, oh, okay, you got a big right. sponsor. I think it's I still don't found the right person to marry. No, oh, dude, that's great. So this is who is this is Julia? Yes, she's Julia. Gore. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Julia, uh, wait, go up. Does it have her price? How much? Yeah, right uh, here. Two hundred thousand dollar, two hundred thousand euros. euros. It's, a conversion it's like there. forty bucks ca- American. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think that, you know how money works. I don't, is that, it's not it's, pesos. We get uh, screwed on the on the deal. Whatever it is, it's more. Oh, it's more. Yeah, the euro's strong. What is it? What so is it? it would cost us two hundred thirty thousand five hundred eighty seven right, US dollars. It's potato, potato. It's the same shit right there. But for this nah, girl, dude, I feel like once you spend it, that extra thirty thousand dollars is really gonna stink. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah. Lewis. But check out this first sentence that we were joking around about. But all of our girls selling the ver- their virginity on Cinderella escorts there was no plastic surgery to restore her virginity yeah she is checked up real virgin the good buyer, to go the buyer hot and ready look the buyer can check her up again with a doctor of his trust yeah Dave can I be your doctor no <laughs> hey oh, uh, let me know, just Lewis. put on these gloves Lewis I love you bro but I'm spending two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars <laughs> on this okay because the fucking government can't keep our currency on a gold standard I will so, tell you if she's a virgin or not. Dude, that's great. She really Lewis, I think I'm going to have to get a real doctor for this. Out, he would walk out of the room and go, she's not anymore. <laughs> yeah, he, goes, he goes, oh, you no, left. Bro, I've been $233,000. Yeah. Lewis walks out. He goes, shouldn't put a wolf in a hen house. <laughs> 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 I remember my friend, uh, my friend Dave in high school lost his virginity to this girl. And I used to use these vaginal deposits that were uh, basically spermicide. You'd put them inside of the puss. And then when you come inside of a girl, it would kill the sperm. So you'd have to wear a condom. Or in 1992, we found out those didn't work. <laughs> he goes, actually, if you came on the tiny dinosaur, it became a big dinosaur. <laughs> I think your buddy told you that. Like, yeah, no, no, they were... So you put your G.I. Joe right on the tip of your penis, <laughs> and that way he'll fight off any of the bad guys. <laughs> he goes, and, and the eggs are cobra. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would, I'm telling you, they're, they, look them up. They're spermal, the spermicidal, the, like, um, uh, deposits. No, suppository. Suppository, something like that. And you'd put them in the post. I'm sure they still exist. It's like spermicide, shit like that. It was, it looked like a little piece of wax. It looked like a wax pill. And it was pretty big, and you shove it all up into her stomach. Come to think of it, I did buy it at a wax yeah. store. And then <laughs> it melts. Yeah, that's it right there, dude. You can still buy them at Walmart. Is this the explanation you had to tell the girl before it happens? Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Let me Here see the... I'll remember the fucking... The brand name. It's very... Oh, yeah, Patrick. baby. We're really getting into this. Uh, sit down. Let me oh, shove N-Care. some wax. That one, Care was the one that I actually used. That's really funny. Really? Yeah, yeah. So they're still in business after yeah, all this... That's the one. It looked like a bullet. I remember. He goes, I remember. He goes, number one with a bullet. <laughs> Let's get in there. I just kicked it into her. Yeah. <laughs> like you're launching those tiny, what are those called? Uh, where they fucking drop the ball. Ah, oh, damn. I, I just, no, I took a fucking, uh, I took a, uh, slingshot and just fucking shot it into her. You William telled it into yeah. her? Yeah. You go, open your legs. Watch my accuracy. <laughs> is this like a, this is a read for Legion of Skanks? That's the, People that sponsor you guys yeah. Yeah. care. Yeah, like, he, y'all go. Hey he, guys, he, he shoehorned it in. Yeah, he goes, oh yeah, totally. You know what's actually really the rave, right? I'm like, he goes, no, whatever, guys. The product totally works, and if you use promo code LOS right now, you get fifty percent off. Yeah. Also, just, go whatever, to, whatever. also go to stamps.com. <laughs> yeah. You're not getting one of those over on our show. <laughs> so no, but here's what I did. It's everything my, you can my do. My buddy post Dave d- didn't know how to use this thing, right? And I, he's just, right here. I, I love the. Opportunity. I was like, so it goes up the vagina hole. <laughs> I, I just. 
just took the opportunity. I was like, I was like, dude, I know how to use this. I was like, mm-hmm. I'll put it in her. So I was the one who actually put the suppository. You, you, okay, you've told me this story before, and you never like start it with what any normal person would be like. By the way. We're talking about a real whore. Yeah. yeah. They're like, you're just like, right away the next question is, what type of chick just lets his buddy come in and shoves his sperm aside up here? I can't wait to have this moment with you. <laughs> real quick though, I got my buddy in the hall. Hey, Maybe do you I'll remember, uh, story? Luis Gomez? Uh, by the way, make sure you call him Luis J. Gomez. Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's a lot of Luis Gomez outside. out there. He wants to be an individual. Right outside, right <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, his mic? Nate's, I feel like Nate's mic was down? real loud. Oh, there oh. it is. Well, now Nate's voice is down all the time. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. so you, you, he called so you I, in, I, I like the pit in, crew. Yeah, I popped it in her, and then he fucked her right ship. next to me. He's got the fucking <laughs> drill noises. <laughs> ship, 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 ship. <laughs> all right, pussy's good to go. Get yeah. in there. Hey. Man, that was record time. Was. <laughs> he goes, oh, oh, oh. you see, I almost died. You know, the, everyone in the pit is really an athlete in their own right. <laughs> yeah. So you went in and put the suppository. And then he fucked her, as I sat next to him, and her Make fucking... Sure it was just, like, put his back on his friend. It was like, you're doing it, buddy. Hey, you're doing Hey, guess what? I took my hand off a couple of pumps ago. Hey, I put my hand on a virgin. I took my hand off of my friend Dave. Hey, hey, look down. Look down. Look, look. It's not even me. It's not even me. Hey, you're doing it on your own, buddy. He goes, oh, he's wobbling and comes. He, he, falls, oh. he falls and gets mad at Lewis. Yeah. You let go. You were supposed to be there. No. So he just had sex with her and you sat next to them. Mm-hmm. You didn't even like, th- this girl was just, shit, this is a girl who just got this passed around. down. This girl was fucking. Yes, Lewis. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, she came in like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember, here's the. It's not even slut. <laughs> we were when we were kids. We would if, if a chick was a slut. I w- it was like, dude, she was down. It wasn't a problem. I wasn't hating on this chick. This bitch was down to suck and fuck. It, it, and we loved dude, her. Dude, I love yeah, Lewis' psychology. Loved, it went bad. He yeah. goes, no, there's no problems at home. She's just a down-ass chick. Yeah. <laughs> she just goes out and likes to fuck and suck. And you go, the hell that girl must have been going through at home. And she's like, yeah, yeah Lewis can pop it in me. Get in here, guys. Yeah, I was super down. Goes, <laughs> there were problems. Yeah, she goes, <laughs> she goes I'm cool with the tandem jump. <laughs> you guys want to get out of the play together. Yeah, I remember some pretty bad ones where uh in my day where sluts got it that girl got kind of tortured a lot of times it was by the other girls mm-hmm. but yeah. uh, always the other girls the dude one time, loved that chick. one time when, <laughs> she was a uh, hero <laughs> one time uh this uh michael lee this kid i went to high school with was uh this, this chick who was like one of those chicks yeah she said it was like in front of the class in some capacity in front of a whole class she said that she was a vegetarian like the teacher asked a question she yeah. said she's a vegetarian and he screamed out you sure eat dick Ooh. and everyone started cracking up laughing great. and um she i don't know i don't think he got punished <laughs> he goes, I, uh, I don't know if there was any punishment for that. i don't know dude it was a joke okay she can't think a joke yeah <laughs> no but i was just making fun of the, the thing where you were like everyone just, was just like cool but like i don't know i remember some of them getting i like in new york the teachers would be fine they they, they start like laughing they, go, they oh, start like oh, high five it's like deaf comedy jam yeah. it's like oh yeah. like this yeah. girl's so slutty she can't even feel a dick <laughs> the teacher yeah. fingered her too. Yeah. He goes, oh, I know. That bitch thinking. I gave her, her grade went from a C to an F because that stanky ass pussy. <laughs> um, the funniest about this one that's on Cinderella.com is how she just jumps as why Julius. Did they get Cinderella.com? No, Cinderella-escorts.com. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, they're not getting Cinderella.com. <laughs> Jesus Smart, bro. They spent $4 million on the domain name. They bought it from Disney. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Guys, we're going to wrestle this out of Disney's hand. Yeah. Disney didn't really want That's to affiliate right. themselves <laughs> with this. Dude, that's so funny. How these girls That's did. so funny. If you're fucking, you're like, oh, the little well, girl's like, I want to be Cinderella. Oh, my <laughs> God. Me. I was trying to purchase a woman's virginity, and Tinkerbell <laughs> showed up yeah. in my house. Was, uh, they could type in Cinderella Epcot, and like, just close enough yeah. that like, you end up like at another drive. That's how these girls got on here. They're like, I was going to Disneyland. I was trying to audition. And I started. With princess Cinderella. Jasmine. She goes, I didn't know the princess package was a virginity thing. Mm-hmm. Imagine all the Disney princesses were hookers, though. Fuck yeah, dude. Who'd you go with? Number Top one. dollar, Ariel. Half fish, half woman. <laughs> I can't even find that shit. I go to Mulan because I'm into the Asians. <laughs> they got sideways pussy. <laughs> I go, Babe, you're sweating me. Go take a swim in the ocean. Yeah. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Uh, hey, babe, cool off. Said he had to sit on the beach and call her. Yeah. <laughs> Barrel! Babe! Babe! She comes up and goes, yeah. where did I put my keys? He goes, yeah. all right. Are you going to go down there with your crab friend and that flounder? <laughs> that crab's kind of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about how good it is under the sea. Um, 
<laughs> is this <laughs> what is that? I'm Doug Dusty. He was Jamaican too. You don't. I don't really assign any race to that crab until I'm an adult. And I was like, that was a black crab. That was definitely a black crab. Do you think uh, after he had the best weed after yeah. Ariel married Prince Eric, like she he got jealous? Do you remember his name? You faggot. I've seen the movie. I remember yeah, movie characters. It's a pretty names. big movie. You yeah. remember Prince? It did Eric? really well. Yeah. No, you I have a five year old girl. Yeah, so do I. Like, here, now you've outed me. So, and here uh, she is. Yeah, we brought her in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if you just got jealous of her hanging out with a Jamaican guy all the time, he's like, why are you always with that damn crab? And she's like, let it go. Are you, are you looking at the cartoon? Christine has uh, the Disney princesses. Man, nothing would be more disturbing Erotically than drawn. Than the, like, you'd rather them see porn Can I, than see like all of their... Can comforting say, Disney characters. Porn. When, I, when Cinderella I'm Cinderella is the most like a hooker though, because she's poor. Yeah, she's like fucking cleaning floors, just fucking. You know, one night she sneaks out and sells what her about this virginity like a, to a Hong oh, Kong yeah, businessman. I, I, you just named it so all these things that yeah. have nothing to do with being a hooker. Yeah, she's a hooker. I mean, she cleans floors. She has stepsisters. <laughs> all whores have stepsisters. Oh, you lost a shoe, you whore. She's friends with. She them. talks to the mice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's mentally disturbed. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna pick one of the Disney princesses that we're gonna start selling their bodies, you're gonna. Okay, the Snow number White one thing. has like twelve dudes. She's living with like yeah. a midget gang. They guy. have no money, dude. They're in the woods. Yeah, they're, I go to sleep with one. You're going. You're, well, she wouldn't. You date rapists. Come on. If a tree falls in the forest, <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Sleeping Beauty doesn't even know what happened. Go, go back on. on. Uh, go back Lewis to Lewis just used Cosby's official defense. <laughs> yeah, he goes. Um, I would like to bring up the Sleeping <laughs> Beauty defense <laughs> in my trial. The article's all written in broken English? What article? This one. Oh, uh, dude, this is great. Julia, by the way, very go Julia back stuff. up. This is the, um, right this is the virgin that we were talking about that's on Cinderella. Escorts.com. Why is Julia still a virgin? We had an interview with her and she says the, the following to, to help it. Help me, please. Help me so much, please. They put cigarettes out on me. I grow, I grown up very traditional and conservative. My plan was to give away my virginity. In the, your I, what is she though? Russian. I don't know. Do Russian. Yeah, it's Russian. Fun. Do yeah. Russian. I imagine she's, where Russian. she's from. Dan, just treat it like the rest of your career and just do the Russian. <laughs> 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 it makes sense or not. Fuck it, Dan. Do, do, do the play your free bird. <laughs> do the American Indian instead. That's funnier. Yeah. What? If she was a virgin? She's an American Indian. She's like Pocahontas. Dude, maybe she's Macho Man Randy Savage. Just shoehorn your that bullshit doesn't... in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Context, ah. Montex. Just do a voice, funny man. Uh, I grew up very traditional and conservative. My plan was to give away my virginity after marriage. It is better. But the years passed, and I still don't find the right person to marry. So I decide I should not keep my virginity 24 years for nothing. It's true. There should be solution, which is worth to give it away. Yeah, she has to wash her pussy with a solution. So I finally <laughs> decided to sell it on Cinderella Escorts. CinderellaEscorts.com. Uh, 24 is not, like... Long. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like, well, like, she's acting like, since I was born, I've been trying for 24 she years. Goes, I've been trying to well, fuck for <laughs> straight 24 yeah. years. I'll be honest, at this point, it's getting less valuable, so yeah. you might as well sell it. She is incredibly hot. The date will play... Take place in Germany. No, so she's once German. Again, I must oh, tell that's you. a different ring to that. The buyer can choose the hotel. Julia will stay with him one night. She's German, though. Yeah, so poop porn. That's a way shittier accent. Oh, yeah, so let's go back to it. Yeah. I've grown up very <laughs> traditional and conservative. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Launched my plan was to give away my virginity after marriage. Julia, can you just try to be a little bit sexier? Uh, I know why you're a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> I think Holy we know the shit, problem. my dick yeah. cannot stay hard right now. <gasps> but the years passed and I still won't find the right person to marry. Were you talking a lot on the first date? <laughs> Every date starts off with, hello, I am Julia. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, that you have to stay in Germany. What's the rates? We were looking at the rates. I find this fucking crazy because it's is like. This is 200,000. This is 200 euro. For that's the 250. This okay. is normal pricing. So you can get two hours up to 14 days. You can get two business. I mean, that's two weeks. That's Hold on, Who wants to spend 14 days with a hooker though? You come oh. once. You're like, sure, let me explain to you. <laughs> If I'm going to spend money on hookers like that, okay, I'm going to get a variety of hookers. You're going to get I'm a plethora. Fucking one, get out, 
when my balls fill up again. Well, that is a good point. Six Wouldn't hours you later, have fourteen hookers no in fourteen hooker. days than one hooker for fourteen days. I'm not looking for a relationship. Varieties yeah. of spice, or yeah, varieties of spice of life. Yeah, fuck right? that, dude. I, I'm not spending money. Here, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna spend that money up front on that hooker. Yeah. Six days in, you're like, dude, I want this bitch to leave. Her accent is annoying. Goes, Don't you like to tell me about the time I was a little girl? Hey, you guys, do you have I had the virginity you. for too long. Hot potato, hot potato. Oh, <laughs> yes, hello, Cinderella, Cinderella escorts. Um, I ordered a 14 day hooker. I'm about five days in. Can I trade her in for someone from a different country? Go, it's this. Uh, oh, I guess my eyes are bigger than my balls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to send this one back. I kind of like to send this one back if possible. Yeah. She's you think you get, a diff- you get two hotel rooms, like just so you can have one room to like go? <laughs> like you got to just go by yourself. Where, where are you going, lover? You go. Just I need some time. I need some. I'm gonna. You are a. Hunter. And you're literally the door next to you, and you're like. Beep, beep. <laughs> and like the door <laughs> opens, you like just stay. Listen, yeah. I already spent twenty thousand dollars for fourteen days for another two hundred bucks a night. I'm gonna go enjoy some sleep. Yeah. yeah oh, also, yeah. too, I gotta be honest with you, she's hot, but she's not two hundred. I don't give a fuck how hot a girl is. Two hundred thirty thousand dollars isn't worth it. Okay, but, but if you have there's a no woman billion, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's like, all relative. It's like, yeah, it's all relative. To but I don't know. I don't. Here's the thing. I think that there are women that are as hot as her or hotter than her that are not prostitutes that I can approach in a library and go, hey, you know what? I think you're beautiful. Let's go to okay, the Caribbean yeah, then- for the weekend. Twenty thousand dollars, fucking come. I'll give you twenty thousand dollars to come and have sex with me. Yeah, but right, what kind of like world made her a prostitute? Yeah. So now yeah, she I is a, a prostitute. normal person, <laughs> which is way worse to do. No, like now, way worse. well, you send her down some path now that she's like, I go to the <laughs> well, library. I, just, why I, do I, to, even, I was trying to study. Now I'm a yeah. whore. Well, I'm gonna spend twenty thousand dollars on a hooker when I can just approach a woman and be like, Hey, you look beautiful. I have your son. Now, do you? Who is this? That's right. It's your son. Look at my phone. Don't. React. That's why strippers also, are Also, I love what you've done with your hair. <laughs> strippers are always like, oh, I'm studying in school. And you're like, yeah, because this is how they start. They were in a library. Yeah. They were studying in school. <laughs> then and then Lewis, then Lewis J. Gomez goes, showed up. Do you like the Caribbean? How about 20 grand? We go there for a weekend. Get away. A little Kokomo. Yeah, but that, that's what I would do. I would rather play that game than fucking spend $200,000 on the shit because you're getting a dirty hooker. The, the girl that's going to come She's a you, virgin. She's a virgin. Mm, yeah, I know she is, but she's still dirty. She, her mouth is probably all fucking ridden. You think so? She she thinks she's giving beaches. No, I think she's. I know she's giving beaches because the virgin that I met at the whorehouse in uh, Reno. Yeah, she was giving beaches. She was warming up. Yeah, that's probably the same. Uh, I swear to God, I know, but that's not doesn't make this. She was in a that's in Reno. This is like a, in fucking Bulgaria, a worse place than Reno. That what is worse? You that actually brings up the lying. age-old argument. What's worse, Bulgaria or Reno? Well, we this has been raging since Ronald Reagan was president, <laughs> so we're not going to solve this today. But maybe we, we could add one more chapter. Let's cut through some of the red tape and get really down to it. I say Bulgaria. Yeah, there's not – that girl's definitely blowing dudes for money. Yeah. You're Absolutely. Jumping in bed. You don't think she's she's – Selling off her mouth for like thirty thousand dollars a pop right now while she's killing time waiting to sell that virginity. <laughs> Just looking at her watch, going, eh, "Price yeah. goes up on the pussy, mouth price goes down." <laughs> she goes, "Listen, there's a lot of traction on these tires." She can only eat soup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She goes, "Ah, so I can't bite down. Jaw locked up." Um, two hundred thousand dollars. So you would you wouldn't spend two hundred thousand dollars on any woman? Nope. In the world, not if no. you, you had a billion dollars. All right, if I had a billion dollars, it would have to be like celebrity. It would have to be like Ariana you just Bryant. said you spent one hundred and thirty dollars, one hundred and thirty dollars, when you had three hundred dollars on a prostitute. Yeah, but it's still like it's. I, I wasn't looking at it as like fifty percent of my money, money in the money world. I, in my mind, I was going to make more than three hundred dollars in my life. That's just what I owned in the world. Uh, you didn't. You didn't look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years later, still hasn't yeah, made still hasn't made three hundred dollars. I'm always no, keeps I'm spending it. Yeah. No, on one hundred and thirty, he only gets to one thirty, and then it all goes away. <laughs> Loses his last ten yeah. years have just yeah. been accumulating three hundred dollars and then spending that on a hooker, <laughs> and then another. Goes, I'm out. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. And the smoker goes, "I'll sell you this pussy for one hundred fifty." Goes, "I'm right back in it." <laughs> Every time you think you're out, they put you right back in. She goes, "I'll fuck you for one hundred fifty." He's like, "Ah." I bet you know my secret code. Ah, you know where to get, you know my price point. Um, it just always becomes a multiple of $300 hookers. Like Lewis goes, I could pay rent. 
Or I could get seven hookers. <laughs> <laughs> he spends everything in it. How much is that leather jacket? <laughs> Two hookers? <laughs> you know what? I speak, I speak only in terms of hookers. Yeah. Uh, I, dude, I don't know. I got like nine, ten hookers in the bank right now. <laughs> if I'm going to blow four hookers on a jacket, it's going to have to be a really great jacket. <laughs> I don't know. I like a cruise like anybody else. <laughs> ten hookers? That's a lot. Uh, when we come back, we have a great ghost story that I want to get to that I don't know if it ties into the prostitution theme at all. But Dave Smith, Louis J. Gomez, and Nate Bargetzi all hanging out while Big J is away at the Just for Laps Comedy Festival. It's the bonfire. We'll be right back. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, Tony Braxton. I listened to this song in the shower knowing that Jay wasn't going into the show today. Mm. I just kept grabbing myself. It's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. Big Jay Ogerson up in Canada for Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. So filling in for him, Louis J. Gomez and Dave Smith, a legion of skanks. Put up, put up, skank hands, motherfuckers, gas digital all day. All day. And our guest who you can see this Friday on The Tonight Show, the hilarious Nate Bargatze. Oh, uh, they gave you, do you see it was like small clap, then big. Oh, then a big, yeah. It was one of those. They couldn't like, believe then, it. Then when he started coming out, like it's yeah. actually him. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like yeah. That, it's like when someone action. famous goes up at the cellar and they're like, yeah. no. Ooh. So uh, you were saying Jay's out. So normally Jay's here with you. Yeah. This, the show. this is Jay and I's radio show. And what is it called? It's, it's called the a, a podcast or a radio show. This, this is Sirius XM. It's a um, satellite radio station. So it's like goes everywhere. Do you remember? Uh, what are, wait, getting, hold on. What are satellites? Satellite? Remember, okay. Well, that's like Nate's joke. No, yeah. Are we just doing Nate's uh, bits now? Do you hey, remember, I like, come home late at night. My wife asks, is that me? What's that? Nate? Oh, yeah. That was uh, do you remember like DVR? Like uh, TiVo was like the first thing that like, I don't I couldn't understand. Why? Well, how it worked. I didn't understand how it worked. Yeah. I Like it was the first explanation. When you first heard it, you're like, I don't even know. I can't wrap my head around how this is even possible. I can't wrap my head around any of it. I can't wrap my head around. I, I've. It, like, I, what is television? How, how we get into <laughs> wires and then an image can appear in front of us? Yeah, my no, it's, it's all, all crazy. just magic. The the cloud, TiVo was the first big, like, first thing. I was old enough that I was like, but I don't understand. Where's I'm, the stuff going? No, I, I, did you understand what, like... I, I didn't like, know what it meant. Before that, like, Dolby sound? What the fuck is Dolby oh, I don't, sound? No, I, don't. I just kind of just keep going on those By things. the way, like, TiVo? I don't need to, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Dolby digital cool. sound sounds? Sounds like it's a fucking cool thing. I'll, Dolby sounds like a cool dude. Do, Dolby. So, like, uh... Like, TiVo just introduced a good idea to the rest of us, and then we were like, okay, thanks. Fuck you, TiVo. Yeah. Hey, we're TiVo. just all going to run with this with other TiVo things. TiVo changed like, everything. It yeah, really just yeah. came out there like, what if we could record shows? And we were just like, oh, could we we're all going to start doing that. And, so what you, that and no one got TiVo. No, actually, yeah. everyone went, everyone ah, doesn't sound that cool. And then secretly like, that's the greatest fucking yeah. idea ever. They go, they go, Whatever, TiVo, you're just a loser. <laughs> everyone want to get out of here. TiVo walked up. work on a DVR. Yeah, TiVo, TiVo walked up to the group and goes, guys, uh, I think I found out how we can record our shows and fast forward it and rewind it. And we go, uh, oh, did you figure out how to rewind oh, them? And oh, so, oh, TiVo, oh, nut check. Oh, faggot. yeah, All I'm right. going to shake anyway. my show because I'm not home. Get the fuck out of here, dude. God, TiVo. TiVo's such a loser. Fucking cool. Did have a pretty good point, though. Dude, dude, TiVo comes up and he's like, dude, I got this idea. We can stop, fast forward, record shows. And then the one guy was sitting there and was like, you know what, dude? I said this idea. We can stop, fast forward, and record shows. My good name. idea, cool jock guy, DVR. <laughs> yeah. Hey, DVR, you're the coolest. That was my idea. Hey, Dan? DVR, not only did you lead us to national championship in football, <laughs> but you also came up with this sweet-ass idea. Devin Van Robinson, you're the coolest, and we're going to name it after you. Oh, DVR. Did you, hear that? did you hear that DVR fingered TiVo's girlfriend after the big game? What? It was crazy. Oh, dude, TVR's the best. Did yeah, that is. Not? Mike Vecchione developed a heroin habit after high school. He peaked. <laughs> He peaked in high school. Mike Vecchione, my roommate, still, like... Keep it sexy, Dan. ...scared of DVR. Yeah. Like, it's hard. Like, if I call him and I'm like, hey, will you DVR this thing on, like, ESPN? Like, oh, there's a 30 for 30 at 8. Will you DVR... Can you DVR it for me? He'll be like... Yeah. Like, I'm asking him to disarm <laughs> yeah. a bomb. He's can you like, stay on the phone? Oh, God. Stay on the, the phone with me, Dan. Is it the green wire yeah. or the red wire? Which one is yeah. it? Like, you have to walk him all the way there. You have to assure him he can't get carbs from this. <laughs> yeah, you could do this. No carbs you, I swear to God. Are there bed just, bugs in DVR? There's no bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not going to get bed bugs if I go near the DVR, right? Yeah. It's, physically, it's okay. a physical impossibility. Oh, right? thank God. I'm going to put gloves on just to be sure. <laughs> he goes, can I do the DVR in the bathroom? You walk in, he's just going, record. Record. He's yelling at the TV. 30 for 30. I don't think it's working. Yeah. Mike, that's not how it works. You get the remote. He's like, ah, dude, no. I wrote it on a dry erase board in our house, step by step. 
What are you guys running a sales team? <laughs> it's a new DVRs for closers. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. I drew, I drew a graph for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, I, even all that, to this day, I don't understand how any of it works. I don't, like, really utilize any you type mean of, the like, science behind it. Well, no, 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 the science. I don't utilize, like, any type of cloud services. I don't link up my phone to my computer. I don't link up, like, any of that shit. I kind what? of, I don't, I don't Well, do I don't it. know if Metro PCS lets you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're using a burner phone. <laughs> Lewis, that's a, uh, it's, you have a pager. That's why you can't look it up. <laughs> he just puts it on his computer and goes, sync up. Sync up. Sync. 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 I think I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. I put Steve my phone Jobs. in the sink. I don't know what's wrong with <laughs> yeah. it. Steve Jobs is a queer. <laughs> Um, yeah, do TiVo, oh, so TiVo's used by DirecTV. It's coming back, yeah, there's been a whole thing that oh, TiVo's joining DirecTV. Look at, look at TiVo's, I love the logo too, it is really like a little person. Yeah. So you want to see heroined out TiVo? <laughs> Sad TiVo? TiVo, it's like, it has the same feel as when Cosby said he's holding a town hall meeting. Yeah. It was like, uh, TiVo. I'm here to you, yeah, it's, it worked for, <laughs> Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> yeah, that's the noise it made. <laughs> bloop, bloop. It was weird when someone had a TiVo at first because you're like, oh, you're a spaceman. Like I had three friends that had TiVo. Well, I, I fuck. Well, what's the thing? The box now the, uh, that puts all your like Cable. internet. No, 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 no. It's the totally box. Nice. I have one. I have one of these. It's a little tiny. Oh, uh, Roku. 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 Laptop. I have Cell a Roku phone. box. I've never opened Car. it. Car. <laughs> well, I, uh, backpack. I, uh, I, 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 I I'm now. intimidated by it. I know it's awesome. People use it. I'm so intimidated by it's like it. Apple TV. It's I have no easy. idea. Very I, easy. Very straightforward. I, I was a little intimidated too. I never. I had a Roku box for years and years and years and never fucked with it. And then I moved into a place where they had one set up. Around for <laughs> years I had a Roku box for five. Nineteen eighty-five. Nineteen ninety-six. Michael J. First. Fox was still on Family. Uh, I found family the first Roku box from the seventeenth century Japan. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did you know that the Chen Dynasty used to use a Roku box? A Roku. Uh, Named after Emperor Roku. (laughs) That's how far back Roku boxes go. They were way ahead of their time before the TV. Yeah. That was Roku. Now understand, there was no option for cable. Yeah, they said the world was going to end in 2055. There were no shows. No shows. They were really just loading them in cannons and shooting them at each other, (laughs) using them as weapons. Um... Jacob or Christine, do you have that story about that ghost? Mm-hmm. This story's great. I wanted to read this. Uh, this is in Thailand. Thai police called in to take on village's female ghost. Uh, officers of the Royal Thai Police Force have been called in to undertake a ghost-busting mission in eastern Thailand where a malevolent female ghost has reportedly left villagers spooked for months. So they bring in police to deal with ghosts? Don't they have, like, fucking human trafficking problems? <laughs> and don't they, have, don't they have Ghostbusters for this? Thailand Ghostbusters? What can a, what, what can a traditional... men boys just fucking off foreigners. But what can a By traditional cop do to a ghost? Stop! Like, right there! All right, turn around. We're yeah. taking you in. We're going to shoot you. The ghost is like... Stop resisting! Stop resisting! <laughs> <laughs> but that's a great way to get... the same cop tactics? That's a great way to get medical leave, is just to fake that the ghost kicked the shit out of you. Like, throw yourself down the stairs, Walking. and you're like, yeah, I got ghost assaulted. I got uh, my back out. Now, Frank, probably... you're telling me you hurt your back in the is ghost assault, right? But, uh... Nor- I think it was the first ghost uh, accidental police shooting. <laughs> yeah, there was like a Ghost Lives Matter protest. That ghost so, uh, was a 13-year-old ghost. Now you tell me this. Why did that body cam turn off right before <laughs> that ghost was murdered? You're going to tell me the ghost walked through you, and then you fired. Well, to be honest, when the body cam was on, you see there is clearly nothing... <laughs> In the picture, ghosts are see-through. They keep going. They're like, she keeps breaking out every night. Yeah. <laughs> every night she breaks out. We've never... Yeah. She walks, we're looking for her every day. Yeah, it's like, this is... Oh, oh, we every there. night you hear sirens going yeah. off. You're like, she's out again. I fall for it every day. Every she's time I try again. to put the cups on her, <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> guys, she's gone again. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, why aren't you guys working on all the heroin that's being flooded into the thing? And they go, we got ghost problems. <laughs> we put them in jail. What's more scary? Heroin? Ghost or heroin? There you go. A uh, good time or ghost? Or the undead. Uh, yeah. I think it's you pick I think your you've answered your own question. Yeah, actually, I don't think ghosts are considered the undead. You're ghosts right, that's dead, Dan. Ma'am, if you've got a better alternative than arresting and then recapturing this ghost every night when <laughs> yeah. she escapes, I'd love to hear it. But you... until then, I'm sending all my men after this ghost. <laughs> Last time I checked, you don't have a proton pack on your back. <laughs> so I think you need to sit this one out, miss. Because <laughs> me and my boys are trying to do our work, and you're all up in our shit. Village leaders had requested a police presence. Well, that's that's the main problem. There's village leaders. 
Yeah. I'm like, that's why the police are. I think we're getting. The fact that you go to the, the village leader. If you're still living doctor. somewhere with village leaders, then you're going to probably just go to the yeah. police. The kind like, of yeah. witch doctor suggested. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh, you need to talk to our shaman. They go, you know what? Oh, shit. You, uh, I got a kid that just got shot in Bangkok. I got to get out of here. If you get all of your history from the oldest, wisest person in your village, yeah. you're you probably know not. that yeah. the ocean's married to the moon. <laughs> and you go, oh, fuck. Uh, God stores? damn it. The police chief is doing a rain dance right now. How are we going to deal with this? <laughs> I'll be honest. I get all of my uh, knowledge from this one old guy, and he's been mixing stories up a lot lately. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> guys, I'm pretty sure my oracle just told me the same thing three times. I think he's losing his shit. So village leaders had requested a police presence to, quote, strengthen civilian morale, prevent panic, and boost residents' confidence in their living their daily life. And they had a solution, which was to have the sun come out 24 hours a day, but it just kept going down they go, in the evening. Well, we don't know why the sun's mad at us, <laughs> but it goes away. So it's uh, genuinely losing their shit. We don't know. God might be angry, but the sun goes away every We've night. We've gone over this from uh, every different angle. Uh, the suspicion we're operating under is that someone wasn't dancing hard enough. Uh, but yeah, every night the sun keeps going. Um, so, yeah. as police have already started their patrols to ward off the spirit with the local police chief. I do name I'll never get. Well, hold on, let's try. Chepressing tool. Yeah, go fast though. How do you chepress a tool? Oh my God! You just opened up a portal. (gasps) How long? How long do you think his name tag, like the his last name, is? Because they cut it off after H. After the first H, they had to cut it off. (laughs) Stating at the present, more people believe in Fipob than those who don't. Fipob, I love that. It's delicious. Noodles? I don't think that's what it is. The so-called Fipob is believed to have the same ability to possess humans and wreak havoc on the entire village. Oh, dude, imagine getting possessed by a, a ladyboy ghost. Oh, dude. Start sucking every dude off. <laughs> Lewis was blowing everybody in sight. I was possessed, I swear to God. Is there a video of this where they, like, have interviews? Yeah, they have the ghost. It's the a ghost big ghost. story. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Uh, you know, I likes the haunting, I likes the, the fight. Oh, it's a female ghost. And she also tie. I don't like any of you. The three individuals reportedly possessed by Pi Pob forced family members and neighbors to strip naked at knife point. I'm pretty sure those are just criminals using a really, really bad excuse. Ah, Pi Pob got me again. That was uh, it. Yeah. Did I pull a blade on you and tell you to take the police? Off? Was it Pi Pob? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's good it was Fee Pop. No, Pi Pop. I'm sorry, Pi Pop. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah. I said that wrong. Was that was my fault. I was scared. He, <laughs> That's how they get out. Pi Pop's doing. That like like by the third time you're just like annoyed at them that they would have yeah I at night point made the women in your family strip and then yeah. pleasure me obviously this was a fight pop I guess we've I never met come on, yeah come on would I do that? and I what thought you were an elder animal would hold up somebody at knife point yeah. and have them strip naked so you tell me tell me does tell that me. sound what? like me or does tell that me. sound like fight pop and he could What's you hurry could you because the sun's about to be gone. <laughs> I don't so you, I you take as much time as you want but. I, we've worked together at Subway for five years and you think it's going to come out of nowhere have you ever seen me hold up somebody at knife point before and make them strip naked. Go yeah. ahead. Go I, around the room. No, swim, no, nobody. I don't think nobody. so. Exactly. 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 These are just the Go cop. around the tent, everybody. This is the way the, co- the cops every get time out of- you're late for work. Ah, five pop got me yeah. again. Or they get out of, the cops get out of doing paperwork. They're like, hey, why don't we, uh, I always say Pipop did this. To be honest, I don't know, Frank. I don't know about you. I don't have any leads on this. You want to? Uh, you want to fight pop this? <laughs> yeah. You want to just? You want to just put this one off on Pipop? Yeah. Yeah. No one's. Pipe no one's questioned the last two. I cases. say we chalk it up to a Thai lady ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Take some lunch. <laughs> Get out of here early. You want to grab a beer and a burger? <laughs> put this, put this on a lady Thai ghost. ghost. <laughs> what did you say? Me and you hit the watering hole These and blame this on a lady. <laughs> Keep on pinning it on this Thai lady ghost. We have an epidemic. <laughs> Trump. Just starts tweeting out about pipe. We need to stop Ty Bob. Scary. When they finally oh. catch Ty Bob, they have to. She's like, she has to go through which one were her and not. She's like, that me, was not me. Me. That was. That's yeah. that guy. He just that wanted was, to do that. That was he. You out of here, Louis J. Gomez? Wait, run, boys. Are you just going over to LOS? No, That's no, awesome that you don't wait till just a break. There's I mean, no other break. there's no more of the break. There's 10 oh. minutes left. By Lewis J. Gomez. You can go to das- gasdigital.com, uh, become a subscriber, Real House Podcast, Legion of Skanks. Believe you me. Believe you me with Michael Bisbing. Both former employees of Sirius XM. Uh, is this, are you getting ready to skateboard? Oh, don't forget, uh, also, oh, I was gonna just start naming other people. 
on Who? Gas Digital, but pretend that we have their show. Now. Oh, Tim Dillon. Yeah, also Bennington's over there now. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, if you're going to say everyone on Gas Digital? Yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard, but everyone else has left. So oh, you haven't heard Dan Soder's voice podcast? They go, that's not a real thing at all. <laughs> and you go, it is now, and it's on Gas Digital. We got your well, ass. Well, I just sold advertising on it, so <laughs> yeah. I hope it's a real thing. Uh, Nate, you're on The Tonight Show, and we were talking about this on the commercial. This is the most appearances anybody's done on Fallon. I think, yeah, I think so. What does he smell like? Uh, very success. Nate like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me all over him because I'm on that show. This is your ninth time, you said? Six. Six. It's my eighth with him, though, too. Oh, right, right, because uh, you were doing that when he was doing Late yeah. Night. Yeah. No, before no. Fallon got SNL. We were, they would we just hang do, uh, out. He would just do clean, yeah. He'd do clean five minute sets. We had a Roku. I didn't surprise you didn't see it. It was, uh, 1994. <laughs> Roku. I was the you only know, one on Roku. You were on one Roku and, and we, we couldn't even get you. <laughs> you tape tomorrow though, right? Yeah. Tape tomorrow airs Friday. Lewis, don't forget your paperwork. It's the last time you're going to take paperwork from Sirius. Ah! I was waiting oh, on that man. one. Yeah. Do the weight you belt. You worked at Home Depot? Dude, I said the same joke yeah. when I saw him. Please put that on our fucking Insta story, his dumb fucking weight belt. If Lewis did work at Home Depot, I feel like he would be yelling at other people who also worked at Home Depot. You go, at you the go same off. level as him. Uh, I wanted to go in the lumber section, but that kind of scares the shit. That guy scares the shit out of me. You all right? All right. There's a guy walking around the two by four in his hand. <laughs> I'm the manager. Yeah. I'm the manager. Lewis is like still here. He just moved the microphone down. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. made like a big thing. He could have been talking. It's just really making it a weird energy. We were having like, so much fun talking here. about Fipob, and then you fucking went and fucked it up. Bye, Lewis. Oh, fuck, dude. Did you just get Fipobbed? Where's your been, board? It's been going around. Five pop forgot your board. Oh yeah. god damn it! Now we just gave Lewis a, a reason to have excuses. He got five pop twice in five <laughs> minutes. That was nuts. He just keep getting five pop. Oh, he's out of here. Oh, he almost hit that guy. Follow Lewis J Gomez on Instagram to see the Insta story of him fighting whatever cab driver he almost fucking collides in on his. I dumb... see him uh, skateboarding. <laughs> yeah, that's all he does now. You but I'll tell you, that's pretty impressive to skateboard and film yourself and be on social media. Almost forty. <laughs> uh, so it depends on what people think is impressive. You know, some people think impressive joke, is taking care of your kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. Being a good member of society. I guess it's just, you know, impressive to skateboard down the street. And but that's good. Yeah, that's, other, that's a skill, too. I had a joke on uh, this past weekend about a guy skateboarding. It's because he was 40. He looked like he was 40, where you're like, mm -hmm. you almost ask, like, are you a professional skateboarder? And you're like, no. You're like, oh, I'm just, like, how's life not getting in the way of you in this skateboard? And then years like, ago, are, are you a 40? former, are you a former yeah. professional skateboarder? You've, you've not only yeah. written several jokes about how ridiculous Lewis is, but you just basically wrote another joke about someone else that still is a joke. About <laughs> that applies to Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. It could, but Ari, in his last special, has a joke about Lewis. Which joke? Nate had a few. Ari has a, a bit about it. Well, it's, Nate's story happened, how many years ago? Like, Eight years ago? Yeah, something like that. A long time ago. Jay, on Jay's special, Kurt's special, Nate's special. So Ari's Lewis special. is the most Lewis talked about just, person in comedy. He generates voice. so much just retarded stories yeah. that you just can't not That's crazy. find I, a way. There's, there's got to be no one else in comedy who's inspired that many professional comedians to have jokes about one person. Yeah, like if you're it's a talented like a, comic and you're in a rut and you haven't written anything hang lately, out Lewis. just hang around Lou. Lewis. Yeah. Something ridiculous will happen. Yeah, I got, I'm, I'm doing my new chunk about uh, chewing food and shadow boxing right next to your ear. It's killing. <laughs> killing. It's called, my closer. It's called uh, writing a, sh a show with Lewis J. Gomez where he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and you're just on a laptop and you're like, Jesus, that's fucking close. Oh, this is Ari's joke? Yeah. You know, my friend Louis Gomez is one of those people. This comedian in New York. He got his girlfriend pregnant. They were dating for like two months. And I was like, what are you going to do? By the way, nobody asks a married couple, what are you going to do? Funny. That is never a question posed to a married couple. So I was going to Louis, like, what are you going to do? He goes, I don't know. I thought about running away. That's crazy. Ari's also, uh, here's what I love about Ari, all the way, new spa, double negative on Netflix now, go stream it. But Ari, um, what I love you about got Ari. two is, hours on Netflix. He Four says, times what you guys got. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, don't different. put it like that, Dave. I look at quality, not quantity. Yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, like, he's, he'll name you full name. Like, like Nate's joke, he's like, my buddy Lewis. I say on stage, like, if I still do the joke some. Okay. Uh, hey, listen, but I'll say, uh, I'll say his whole name. And I'll, I'll tell the crowd, I ask, cause I see if anybody knows him. Yeah. Cause I tell him, I want to tell him how many people know him. Majority it's zero. 
and then I get to tell them, hey, I asked uh, you know, a lot of people this weekend, zero <laughs> heard of you, zero. So are you just doing that to be spiteful? You're just coming back, just fucking trying to rub it I in? I like to tell them. Uh, yeah. No one knows who you them. are. Yeah, no one knows. <laughs> yeah, you're negging them. You're like, ah, no, you thanks for You have one that guy that's doing a lot of things for you, making skateboards, picking you up in Columbus, Ohio. I like, uh, I like it. Nate finally finds one person. He's like, oh, yeah, I know, that guy, Puerto Rican rattlesnake. And Nate's like. Get out of my face. Yeah. Just, can you kick him out? No, he had one guy. <laughs> he gets uh, booted from the show. Yeah, that's really nice. Someone get rid of that guy. Yeah. He does have sometimes, uh, there will be guys. Like someone. We want yeah. To, well, there's yeah, a lot of crossover yeah. fans between Legion of Skanks, yeah. between Bonfire, uh, you know, it all. Bonfire, Bonfire is this show. Yes. This show is Bonfire. This show okay. with me and Jay. I'm just figuring it out. Four days a week. They have a show. 16 yeah, yeah. Congrats. It's Bonfire. Thanks, man. Well, yeah. I mean, you were on two weeks ago. Oh. Dave, congrats Dave, you've been on it before, Dave. Yeah. You were on it. Was that a. That was Bonfire too. Okay. Did you think that was that was the bon- I, I bonfire too? That was the other bonfire. I thought there Christine were, had a show at Sirius. I wasn't really aware you and Jay. I thought you and Jay were guests on her show. So you know, Louis. Really... You know, Louis J. Gomez's tattoo on his wrist. Crab. Yes, the, it's the crab. Yeah, it's supposed to be a crab claw. Yeah, I think we're gonna turn it into our logo because it looks exactly like a bonfire. I just think it's an amazing, like it's a brilliant yeah, thing to do to, just to do make your logo something someone else has tattooed on their body. So it makes it look and like he's go, a super Oh, fan. you're yeah. you're a diehard fan. <laughs> yeah. like, that's that's what I want to do it for. That's brilliant. So then Lewis can never be like, I hate fucking bonfire, and you go, then why is it tattooed on your wrist, Lewis? You clearly love it. You, you hate, hate them because like because like they're your favorite. Yeah. And it's not as good as it used to oh, be. Type of hate. Oh, like, all right, we get it, misery. You yeah. want to break our ankles because you're in love with us. Stop it, Lewis. Um, okay, are we almost done to ra- I gotta go do the Opie show real quick. No! Oh! Is, uh, is that not on now? Oh, you're shooting that- fired. Uh, Dave Smith, Libertas. 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 Coming Libertas. out next month, baby. Is it coming out next month? Yeah, uh, check uh, it out in August on Gas Digital. Yes, sir. Um, it's awesome. I just saw the album cover. It's fucking badass. Album cover, uh, Howard Porter, who's like an amazing artist, did the album cover for me. He, he, and he made a really beautiful, like really cool, uh, design. Check I love Dave's it. a big, yeah. yeah. I would vote for Dave. Vote for That's Dave. Uh, big. part of the problem podcast, Legion of Skanks, both on Gas Digital. Check it out. Always fucking funny. And thanks for coming by and finally acknowledging the bonfire. Because you did. We have audio evidence of you acknowledging the bonfire. I just, I, I forget ah, things. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Nate Bargetsy going to be on The Tonight Show, Friday, July 21st. Watch his half-hour special on Netflix, The Stand-Ups. Mine's also on there. We share yeah. a lovely... McCurdy's, too. Sarasota. Oh, there. okay. This Sarasota. Weekend. This yeah. weekend. McCurdy's? McCurdy's Comedy Theater. So check that out. And uh, Big J Okerson doing the nasty show up in Montreal. And five, what's your fucking deals? Go to BigJComedy.com for tickets. And then our buddy uh, Mo Amir, gonna he's got an 8 p.m. show at the Gramercy this Friday. So if you're in town, uh, go check out Mo Amir at the Gramercy this Friday, 8 p.m. He's got musical guest Brother Ali, the narcissist, and a spe- secret special guest comedian. Uh, and then I will be at the D.C. Draft House Thursday through Saturday. DanSoder.com for tickets. And we'll see you guys on Monday. Yeah, Jay and I will be back tomorrow, but it's a Lost Tape episode. You get that. Bye.